happy Saturday, and welcome to Getting Baked with Crystal, the episode where Crystal makes everything. It sounds like it's laundry day. <laughs> oh. Near far. <laughs> In addition to baking everything, I've also done three loads of laundry today. That one's almost done. <laughs> Yeah, hello, think, hello. I think at one point I almost saw you put a load of cookies in the dryer. Almost. <laughs> almost. I have been at it since I don't know what time. Today I have made eggnog fudge, oatmeal cookies, which still need to be iced, chocolate, brownies, salted something, cookies. There is biscotti in the oven right now. And tonight on the show we are making almond roca cookies. We are stuffing Snickers inside of peanut butter cookies and a special surprise. I talked to you guys last night about making crock pot candy. I am gonna throw that in the crock pot right now so I can get that going because it looks like it has to cook on low for an hour and then another 30 minutes. So perhaps that will be ready to do the things with at the end by the time we're done here or sometime before that. So let's do that first. How's everybody doing tonight? I did see, Dan, somewhere up there was a member super chat. Uh, yes, from Kimberly. Thank you so much. Member for 11 months. <laughs> Yay! Yay! It's almost your member anniversary. Yay! Or, uh, for your, your member anniversary, uh, you give us five more bucks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Uh, happy Christmas to everyone and the fam. Thanks. Appreciate you, and thanks for supporting us. Yahoo! Afriel says, please tell me you took time to eat today. Yes, Mom, I did eat today. I made us breakfast burritos before we started because that is the most filling thing for me, and I knew I could go on that amount of fuel for quite a while, which I did, and about an hour or two ago, at some point in the last couple hours, I had some leftover pizza, so I am good to go. For now, we'll see how this goes. Uh, Nathan is ready to get baked. Good, because we are actually baking tonight. If you were here last night, nothing actually went in the oven. Or in my Sorry. mouth. Sorry. Or in Dan's mouth. Even like at the end of the night, I didn't even give him a pity like single cookie. Everything just went into the fridge. Sorry, Dan. I think Dan. I fell asleep at my desk there. Um, you know, I did end up doing a double batch of the chocolate cookies because those have been a big hit. Everybody really liked those. I tried so hard not to eat them. I did let you have one. Can I? Can we? Can we recap? I mean, there is an army of cookies over here already. <laughs> this is nothing. The uh, butterscotch from last night did not make it in the fridge. There was no room. There are two containers of the oatmeal cookies that still need to be iced, and three contain, four containers of the chocolate salted brownie cookies. And then the eggnog fudge is in the fridge. And like I said, the biscotti is in the oven. I've been baking like a mad woman. And in the fridge, there is also <laughs> Dan getting leftover pizza. There's chocolate chip cookie dough. There's peanut butter cookie dough, which we will get to shortly. The uh, biscotti has about five and a half more minutes. So let's throw this stuff in here. Let's see what it says to do. It says, um, okay, so I didn't post anything about this. You guys don't know anything about this crock pot candy. It is basically um, a blob of chocolate with peanuts and toffee in it. Ooh. And sprinkles on top. Okay. Just you want, you want to see the picture? Yeah, that looks appetizing. Oh, uh, is that edible today? I uh, will find out. Is it? Big tough boy. Is it edible today? Maybe. I've never made this before. We'll see. Hopefully this turns out well. No, 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 no. Peel it off like a civilized human being and take it completely all the way off and throw it in the trash can. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> Wilton said, did your Christmas card make it across the country? Yeah, it's right there on the wall. Nice swan. Yeah, we did get yours. Yeah, nice swan there. Yours is... Oh, I thought I hung yours up because I was laughing at it. Well, you laughing. figure that out. What I'm going to do is to put a 16-ounce jar of... Um, well, they were supposed to be lightly salted, but they're unsalted. <laughs> Peanuts. In my crock pot. They didn't have them when I looked for them. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Sure, we'll be fine. I am actually going to put some of the uh, sea salt flakes on top. It said that was an optional thing, and in my life it is no longer optional. The sea salt flakes are going on top all the time. Uh, Wilton says, that was your swan. I made the screenshot when we played Pictionary months ago, and I sat on it until Christmas. That's why it's so long. She's been sitting on it this whole time. <laughs> yes, it's, uh, there it is. It's in the cover of the car right here. Is the car too out of screen? It is. It's all the way up. There you go. There. Did you know I saw something on the internet? How would you spell Griswold? G R I Z. W O L D. Griswold. Okay, so apparently. Or it could double up the Z's word, but like Griswold. No. Um, it's an S. 
But apparently in the first two movies... Wait, it's not a Z? No. No. It's Grizz? It's not even Grizz? No, it's, it's, a, it's not a bear. Apparently in the first two movies, it was G-R-I-S-W-A-L-D. Well, that sucks. And then much like they changed up the kids, they changed up the A to an O. And so there was lots of debate because there is now garments, t-shirts and such coming out that say Griswold Christmas or whatever sort of Griswold things. And there's two different spellings. Huh. No. I didn't see that. No? Uh -uh. Apparently that's What what happened? They couldn't keep it together? They're like, if we're changing kids, we're changing the spelling of the name. I don't know. Maybe they immigrated. Who knows? Um, To to the uh, jar of peanuts, we're going to add... One, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Well, said it was only spelled with an A in the second movie. Oh, what I saw said first and second, but yeah, there was definitely some debate where it was spelled both ways. Two, ah, uh, 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 bags uh, uh. of white chocolate chips. And to that, we are going to add, I don't think I've ever actually purchased dark chocolate chips, but like I said last night, they are starting to grow on me. Um, we're only going to use half the bag of this, and you know, I'm very particular about things, so I'm going to weigh it. Excuse me with your pizza. I swear you've eaten that hot sauce on everything for the last two weeks, and there's only like this much missing out of Oh, it. the Valentino? I yes. know, huh? I love that stuff. It's so good right now. Yeah, we've all been eating it. Uh-huh. And, uh, yeah. This thing was $1.99. <laughs> well, you can always buy that, because apparently it lasts forever, even when you both, it's, and Blake, use it on everything. You know, it's less expensive than milk. <laughs> right? Yeah. Everything's less expensive than milk, except for eggs. So we are going to add five ounces. Nope, that's 5.2. Get out of here. Nope, that's 4.9. Hannah says, I'm curious about the Crock-Pot candy. Me too. Uh, my mom actually sent me the link for this on Facebook because she likes to send me and tag me in things on Facebook that she wants me to make for her. And I'm always just like, haha, yeah, one day. Um, but I figured I'd actually do this one. We'll see. It looked easy enough because you set it and forget it, and we love that. Um, on top of that, we are going to add dark chocolate chips. Those ones are kind of big, but there we go. Adele says, hello, everyone. Glad to see you're still going strong, Crystal. You're better than, than me. What time did you go to bed last night? Because I think I dozed off. I was actually making stuff until after 12 o'clock, and then I sat on the couch and played games on my phone until 1. But yeah, it, it was. No, I was sleeping. You were sleeping in bed. Terry was asleep on the couch. Blake was in his bedroom ignoring us because who wants to hang out with their parents? All right, and to that, we were going to add half a cup of creamy peanut butter, which I used all the last of the other jar. That's why you had to get me a second jar this time. Um, I have a story we have to tell later. When it's story time. Not okay. Now. Okay. Uh, Husky Mom Bronico says, good evening all. Glad you're making something else first before the peanut butter ones. I'm in the middle of making homemade eggnog. I want to bake the peanut butter cookies with you. Yes, and I think I'm actually going to um, put the almond roca cookies in the oven first. We'll do that first because the biscotti is on the pan that I need to put the peanut butter cookies uh, Excuse on. me, didn't we decide it was broscotti? <laughs> My mistake. It's the broscotti. Uh, yeah. We need... Half a cup of creamy peanut butter. Oh, this is gonna be so good. I think so. It looks really good. So hopefully this turns out well. Alexa, stop. All right. Almond biscotti. It's been baking for 25 minutes. I have to let it cool for five minutes. I'll switch to this so I don't set off everyone's A L E X A. Here, no. Well, here, look. You can throw this away, and your reward for that is you can eat some of these. What is this? Dark chocolate chips. Do you know that I was making the chocolate cookies earlier, uh-huh. and each chocolate cookie gets oh. three chocolate chips on top of it? We're just really, really. How much is the serving size? Like that. Each, <laughs> <laughs> each cookie gets three chocolate chips on the top of it. I got to the end of all of my dough, and I was doop, 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 doop. I was one chocolate chip short, and I had to open another bag to get one chocolate chip out. And you cannot have one with two. I could not have one with two. Do you know me? Why didn't you just eat the cookie? Because, <laughs> no. No, we don't get to eat them until after everything is made and distributed, and then we're allowed to eat them. Oh, I heard you can change A-L-E-X-A its name to Santa Claus. Hey, huh. Santa. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> but that's what I called Anne. You seem a bit more flustered today, though. Um, 
I think you're normal. Did somebody said that or that was you? That was a uh, wait, that was a Dell. Um, I, I just have a lot in my head. I've been running around, Dan can attest to this, like a freaking mad woman from one end of the house to the other, just doing stuff and things and... It seems organized though, like... It is very, it's organized chaos. It is absolutely organized chaos. It's the math of what needs to go in when, which dough I need to make in which order because some of them have to go in the fridge and wait for a while. I'm done with that. Uh, I think you might, like, I think your mood is good, though. Like, this has been good. Yeah. Oh, uh, first day is always good. Uh, Sunday afternoon is when I'm just like, why did I sign up for this? This is the <laughs> dumbest thing I've ever done. <laughs> um, can you get me a third cup measuring cup? A third what? A third cup? One third? Oh, not like you have two in your mouth. No, like, <laughs> not a one, two, third. There we go. Okay. Okay, so... A third cup, but you know, much like vanilla and garlic, we measure Heath bits with our heart. All right, then it says to uh, put it in the crock pot and cook it, cook it on low for one hour, and then we'll stir it together. Nice. So that seems pretty easy so far. on it doesn't have a light no you just gotta trust i don't know if i ever use the crock pot it's a meaty thing yeah it, but it just goes trash please thank you it just goes on yep all right mm. in a couple of minutes you'll be able to feel it getting warm fair enough uh hannah says so far i like all those ingredients i'm i'm not mad at it and i feel like you could add other stuff to it if you wanted to although it's pretty much got everything that's good so i don't know what you'd add to it um, biscotti is going to be my next step. I need to cut these up. If you guys missed it when we made the eggnog biscotti a couple weeks ago, you know, this doesn't even look like it's been cleaned. <laughs> Let me get a different one. Um, biscotti is double cooked. So you cook it, then you slice it and lay it on its side and you cook it some more and flip it halfway through. So we're at the first cooking stage of biscotti. Cuter, oh, he's been there for quite a while. Little boy kitten did come up several times today and hop up there to see what I'm doing. He's very interested in the baking. Question, do I want to get up and get some chocolate chips to eat? Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Adele says, I don't think your mood is off, just a little scatterbrained, but having a list going on the inside will do that to a person. Yes, this is my chaotic, everybody leave me alone weekend. I know what I'm doing. I will ask you if I need help. Let me manage the chaos. And then tubs of cookies appear. So it's worth it. It's really All worth it. Hey, mama cat. The other cats are in there. If you hear cats squealing at the door, let me know. I'll let them out. Uh, okay. Blake is out on his bed. Uh, Nancy is here. Hello, Nancy. And thank you so much for the super chat. Dan, I know you'll guess this one. How does Santa wash his hands? He don't. Christine, he don't. Not... If you're in the chat, Christine, he doesn't wash his hands. Is that the right answer, Nancy? No, it's he doesn't. With, with sanitizer. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Thank no, you so I did much not. for that and for the super chat. Yes, thank you so much for the super chat. Oh my We're gosh. good. We're about to slice. Okay, so the biscotti looks like it's done, but if you ever had biscotti, you know it's meant to be a crunchy cookie, and this is still very soft. This is why we bake it a second time. Do you need a, like, this is close, like, today I got it framed better. This is close enough, right? Or do you need this cam on biscotti? Like, can it be? No, we're good. We've made biscotti before. I'm not really showing you how to make this. If you have Aunt Terry's cookbook, it is in there, um, but it's not, I think I made this on the show before. Did I make the biscotti? I don't know. Does it smell almondy? Almond. It smells good. It, it actually smells, smells like anise extract. Kind of a licorice smell. And it. What? Anise. I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I'm leaving that all over. Yes, it, yes, it does. Yeah, it does. It does. It does. All right, so here's what you can have I always cut the end off because it's just going to overcook. Poison. There's a sample. And you can cut these as thick as you want to. I like to go a little thin when I'm doing my Christmas baking because I've got a lot of people to give cookies to. Mm, that's so good. That it really good. is. Can I have more? No. Have when more. I get to the other end, you can have the other end. There's going to be four end pieces, so yes, yes, you can have more actually later. 
You made bread, now to make toast. Yes, pretty much. This is uh, soft and bready. It's very, very bready and almost a little bit raw in yes, the middle. Yes, it is broscotti. <laughs> I always make this. This is a, a regular, uh, regularly included cookie in my Christmas baking. Every year I do the biscotti. This will have white chocolate over the top of it. Just spread on top. Right. Helen says, uh, hey, Dana Crystal, Merry Christmas to you. I would say it back to you, but I'm collecting well wishes. So if I give you a well wish back, I break even. So well wishes, one way street. So thank you so much for the well wishes. And uh, I hope somebody gives you one so you can collect one back. <laughs> I don't know. You, it's always something with you. You hear it when I hear it for the first time. I have no idea what I'm saying. Terry, you want to do that thing that Bring more snacks, Dan? Uh -huh. Terry will never turn down more snacks. I won't. It's all, yeah. I like that. Mm. With me and my friend. Me and my Upside friend. Upside down Mooch is adorable, yeah. he That's how you know he's really knocked I'm a out. Cat. <laughs> I'm a cat. I know I love you. We are buddies. No down. She was waking me up mm. this morning, and Blake too. No, you burn it. Okay, I'll let you down. But you're not gonna go too far. I know you're not. Yeah, no. Uh, she she was hopped up next to me this morning, and her motor just all brrrr. And I could kind of get it halfway there down with me. We're working on it. But the little boy hopped up, and he's laid next to me oh, this morning. Oh, the devil! This little guy right here laid next to me. He wrestled with my hand, and but he didn't use his claws. And then it was lick, lick, bite, lick, 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 bite. Yes, Dale. I did do the eggnog a couple weeks ago. I feel like I've done, I have a spreadsheet. I'd have to check my spreadsheet, but I feel like I've done this before. Um, but the cards are Olivia says, did you get my card? You see your mug hanging up on the wall? <laughs> Do you see? I think you can see it back there. Oh, yes. Olivia, your card had us laughing. I love it and uh, have a new idea for uh, Christmas cards because it's just, here I am. <laughs> just I, I perfect. See between I love it. it. It's out, see the Gating Baker crystal sign right by my ear? I think it's hanging right there. Yes, it's the only one that's flat and not open. Just says, did you get my card yet? No, and actually, just the last two days, there hasn't been mail in my mailbox. Unless I went yesterday and there was no mail, and I went too early today for yesterday's. That's possible. But no, I didn't. No, wait, I didn't send one yet. Oh, you're, <laughs> you're such a pill. But you've already sent us two packages with amazing deliciousness. Those Michigan cherry chocolates were so oh, good. I know, I know. Oh, my God. You left them out yesterday, and Terry and I liberated one. Where did I leave them out? You didn't zip up your, you didn't put a padlock on your bag. Jeez, I was um. trying to sneak them home. Uh, your, ma your your outfit matches your thumbnail today. It does. It does. Also, see, all our little cats are coming, or like, they're all fitting right on. He just wants to know what we're right on eating in. here. Can you have a little bite of this? Look at all those tiny toasts. No. <laughs> it doesn't smell like food, does it? He's happy, though. I should have stuck a card in the box, but... They weren't here yet. Ha 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 ha! No, but you don't ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Mostly she he he's. I didn't send you a card yet. I I didn't send you a card yet either. But but yeah, you should send one. That's because so you didn't send us one. Put it on the the refrigerator. I did send out some cards. Like if you sent us cards, like Olivia, your card went out already. On Friday. Yes. Yesterday mm -hmm. was that yesterday? Yeah. I don't know. It's all a blur. Look at the little every cat emoji. I know. <laughs> the little guy's purr in here. His mama's over there getting into trouble. Oh, that's my buddy. Hey, what are you doing? Are you eating stamps? Don't <laughs> she might be. Don't eat stamps, it's expensive. Today <laughs> today one of the little ones ate some wrapping paper. Or like just like chewed the wrapping paper. Stop chewing the edge of the box. Oh, and there goes all our Christmas cards to the ground. Nice. They're about to go. <laughs> Hey, stop. That's a roll of stamps. Stop it. Hey. Hey. Alexa. Hey. Well, never mind. We're going to do this. Sorry, everybody's A-L-E-X-A. Dan, there's two more cookie bits here for you. <laughs> she did not stop. There's a new box over here for you to play with. Why do you have to play the box with the Christmas card exchange stuff in it? And you want, you want to go play with the box too? Okay. Are you going to take these so I can... Whoa. Okay. Take them, Dan. Mm -hmm. Let's just put this over here, shall we? All right. For 
our next trip, we are making almond roca cookies. The name is kind of deceiving because it is not almond roca. Hi. You making cookies? Can I get a shout out? No. No. No, you can't. You won't give me a shout out? No. Absolutely not. <laughs> uh, Nancy says, I mailed mine last Tuesday. Might not be there yet. I don't think we got one from you. It no, sound I don't think so, because I would have, yeah, I think so. So maybe on Monday. We'll go back again on Monday or Tuesday. One of those days. All right. Again, this is in Aunt Terry's cookbook. If you guys were lucky enough to get one of her cookbooks, you will have this recipe. If not, uh, it is not on the Pinterest page for this one, because there is no Pinterest page for my Aunt Terry's recipes. But I did make recipe cards. You can find it on the community tab here. You can find it on Getting Baked with Crystal on Instagram. And you can find it on the Getting Baked with Crystal group on Facebook. Uh, Jen says, my cat Simon's in the same position as Mooch right now. Oh it's gosh. the best sleeping go position, right? Else. Wait, stop it. Go. Oh, there you, there you go. Uh, Afriel says, if you're not careful, I'll give you a shove out. Oh, no, I've, had, <laughs> I've had so much exit shove left. Yes, so many. Yeah. All right. So this is basically a shortbread cookie. Once it comes out of the oven, you pour chocolate chips on top and just spread them. Like, they'll just melt. And then you sprinkle... Almonds on the top of it. Sorry, my mind went blank. I've been doing a lot today. I've already pre-chopped. I, I buy slivered almonds, and then I just chop them in the food processor. And I made some for the biscotti earlier, so I just chopped some extra so I wouldn't have to put the food processor on. It's just almonds. You have to pay the tax. One. One almond for you. I was still trying to break it into smaller bits a little bit. Because the problem with the food processor is it turns some of it to dust. Oh, you guys, you want to hear the saddest story? I washed one of these earlier, and then I dropped it in the sink, and it broke. These are my egg cracking bowls, and I broke it. I showed up and went, ha, ha. You did. And then later, I found another piece in the sink, and I was sad all over again. Sorry, right. I broke a glass the other day, too. Did you? Oh, one of yours, not mine. That's fine. Yeah, did you? Oh, one of yours. Oh. Uh, will you have the cookbook for sale wow. again? No, Um, my Aunt Terry made those, and she did that thing where, like, Yay. she had them all printed and ordered them, so she put all the money out up front and then sold it to our family, and then she just still had a bunch left in her Etsy store, and none of the family was buying it. So I started talking about it to you guys, and that's when everybody bought the rest of them. I don't think a bunch of then a bunch of family came out um, of the woodworks talking about I didn't get one. The way they're falling apart like that in a good way, we might be able to scan them in and talk to Terry instead of printing them. She might be able to offer them in digital form. That is because it's kind of offering itself up uh, page by page there because it's coming apart. That's because I use it a lot. Um, which I still think of. I see those little kits. You can, you're gonna binder it eventually. I I have a, a binder at home or uh, at home at work like. The machine that uh -huh. like pulls the thing open and it punches the holes oh, in the cool, pages. Cool. So it is possible that I could uh, um, do but that. We might be able to scan it in and get a digital copy of it and ask Terry what she wants to do with it. We could. Before I get food on all the pages. Well, yeah, well, yeah, that's, like part of, that's part of it. <laughs> part of the charm. Yeah, uh, Brittany, thank you so much for the link. She says bad spelling. I know you were so close. It's a C and I think two T's. So close, though. Uh, that is the link to when... That's when we made this one. Did we make the almond biscotti from the cookbook? From the book of goodness. Yeah, Terry was slipping through it the other day. I was like, oh my god, there's so much good stuff in here. I'm amazed. I really only make the desserts. I don't do... You know, there's a lot of good meat things in there, I'm sure, but I don't know anything about that. So we're mixing the butter with the sugar and brown sugar, and it's a half cup of each. Is it hard to raise a cat? I want one, but I don't have any experience with them. Nope, they raise you. They are self-sufficient. Clean their litter box... Pet them, feed them, and they do all the rest. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Pretty it's much. Not, it's, yeah. It's, it's not like a dog. No. They just kind of... It is best different. to have two of them, though. Yeah. But look that at this one. That way they can play. This one's... This one's... Just does... It's just living. <laughs> it's easy. It's like having a fish. <laughs> Ooh, Hannah says, I made Nog Chompa <laughs> sticks today and thought of you. I love how do you, Nog Chompa. How do you do that? Do you take a stick and roll glue on it and roll it in the Chompa? <laughs> the, or do you dip it like in the goo? Like... The incense guy that would come to the gas station when I worked there, he made the incense and you just like dip it and then you 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 dip it until candle there's making. a layer. Yeah, it's like candle making. Just I would just like bunch of dips. powder Chompa. All right. That sounds cool. So it is half a cup of sugar, half a cup of brown sugar. I have the quarter cup in here already, so we are just going to go ahead and use times two of that one. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I bet your whole house smells like dog chamba. Dude, smell it's like, a pee. Like chamba juice. <laughs> it's, it's a is pee. That, is it, you have a place like that called chamba juice where you can it's, go it's make your chompa. own. It's yeah, still a you pee. You can make your own chompa. <laughs> you can make yes. your own chompa. Chompa juice. 
Avril says he heard the butter wrapper and stirred. I love the mooch. Yeah, but he didn't come over here. He might smell it when I start mixing. Uh, Marianne, are you playing the first Life is Strange? We played through a lot of that, and that was kind of fun. Which one was that? The one where you can kind of rewind a little bit, and then there was that girl in school, and it was like a movie story thing. Yes, I remember that. Mm -hmm. All right, one. Uh, uh, uh. One more minute on the Scotty. Yeah? Yeah, and then I have to flip it. Two! Uh, uh, uh. Also, is there any more things that, like, you're gonna have to, like, is there any more waste, like last time, how you cut the ends off of anything? No. Do you wanna cut the ends off of some of that real quick? <laughs> butter? <laughs> you want me to cut the end off the stick of butter, Dan? I don't know. I'm just trying to get. <laughs> just anything? I'm just trying to get some something. Hannah says I take a dropper and drip my oils on it until it's thoroughly soaked, then put a, another oil on it to make the smoke not black. Okay. Interesting. Can you make the smoke different color? <laughs> you like color? You could. Dahil says you just don't have the how long until I put it in my mouth text like that older video. <laughs> you don't really ask that anymore. You used to ask that every time I would make something. Oh, not so much anymore. All right, to this Sometimes. we're going to add vanilla and one egg yolk, which I am not going to separate by hand, but by eggshell. Excuse me, I have to flip my biscotti. Oh, why do whales like to draw, what do whales like to draw with? Acrylic paint. What, do you, what does that mean? Krill, like shrimp? Oh, oh. <laughs> Hannah says, I ask how long till mouth regularly at dinner time. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, Lily's getting her little kittens fixed uh, on Monday. I didn't tell if they were getting their GEDs or what. I gotta drop off at eight and it could be six to eight hours. That part always makes me really nervous. Like, it's never gone wrong for us, but just the idea that, like, I have this family member and I'm just gonna let you take him for a while and please don't kill him. You were nervous when I got neutered. No, okay. they didn't put you to sleep. I... I mean, you might have fallen asleep, but they didn't put you to sleep. <laughs> How's that? Um, right now, very wet. It's just butter and sugars. Do any cats cuddle with Mooch on the counter ever? Um, nobody cuddles with Mooch because Mooch will not allow it. Oh, um, the little boy cat does come up on that pillow. That pillow is big enough for two cats. So sometimes the little boy cat, if he wants to see what we're doing in the kitchen here, he will come up here. Uh, for a long time um, today, the boy cat sat there and watched what you were doing for a long yes, time. And, and then he came over to the computer and tried to attack the screen while I was working. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, and sometimes Kamiko will lay on one half of it. If Mooch is over, well, usually Kamiko will be there first and she'll be over to one side and then Mooch will go on the other side of it. Yeah, nobody cuddles Mooch. That's not, that's not allowed at all. <laughs> not with his knowledge. Afriel wants to know if it's her net or did the screen flip. Everything looks good on our end, I believe. Might have just been you. Sorry. All right, I left the biscotti in. It says to do it for 10 minutes, and it wasn't quite brown on the one side, so I put it in for seven originally. I added the three more minutes uh, just to make sure it gets, you know, nice and crunchy. <sighs> Dan, I've made so many things today. Yeah, it's, it's your thing. It's like your, it's your Super Bowl. It is my Super Bowl. I, I make all the things. It's a lot, guys. What is everybody else making for Christmas cookie stuff? Are you guys baking? I know. Hold on. My mind went blank. I can picture it. The one person, and she's making the peanut butter cookies with me tonight. I don't know why my mom, my mind has, who Do I know the answer? Wow. Do I know the answer to this question? She said it in the beginning, like, oh good, you're not making the peanut butter cookies first. And I, Rebecca, uh, Husky Mom Bronico. You see, I just had to make brain connections. <laughs> my brain's a little fried. Um, she's making the peanut butter cookies. She was making some homemade eggnog. Oh yeah. I don't, was it last night you were making stuff too? Or the night before? Like some other night That's you were making fun. some things? I never made homemade eggnog. Me neither. I like the eggnog from the store. Would not that I say it's not good, but like I'm I I have I'm a store dog guy. Store dog. Guy. <laughs> store dog. Mm -hmm. Uh Walton says pumpkin pie for Christmas Day. Pumpkin rolls better. 
Jess says, we are making Rosetti's pinwheel cookies and maple pecan baklava. Ooh, Rosetti's. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Rosetti. We are making Rosetti's. Rosetti's. What are those? Rosettes? Rosettes? Yeah, what's that? Little, like a simple sugar cookie deal. Oh, okay. I think it's a cookie. Uh, one of those cookie press kind of cookies, I think. Is it Christmas time when she makes that one that you dip the thing in the dough and then put it in the oil and then it pops oh, off the, the thing? Oh, the putschkis? No, uh, the other thing. Yoza? Oh. No, it's a cookie. Oh, it's a deep fried crunchy cookie, she says. Oh, gotcha. Is that that is that, that one that yeah. I'm talking about? Yeah, I think, I think so. Yes, I think so. <laughs> Iced some sugar cookies today with my fiance's mom. Ooh. She says yes. The little sets are on the hot iron dipped in oil. Yes, I saw a video of that the other day. Like somebody else's little TikTok or whatever came up, and I was like, oh man, I'm, I would love to make those. I just don't want to deal with oil. All right, we're gonna start with seven. Do we say it's Thai mat or Tia mat? <laughs> what would you say? A Thai mat. Thai mat. Tia mat. You should Tiamat. post the pictures of your. Cookies. Melissa said those are pizzelles. No, I think pizzelles are different. I think those go in a little thing. Those are the things Jean would make at Christmas time, the little flat ones covered with powdered sugar. Just as the ones where you take, it's like a metal stick, and then at the end it looks like a cookie cutter, but you dip it in the oh, very wet dough, right. and then you put it in the oil, and it fries in the oil and pops off of the thing. Jess, I'm sure, is digging for a link to when she did it, I think last <laughs> year or so, and there's a video. There's yes, a video. there is a video of At that. this point, I don't think there is not, not a video of anything <laughs> of our lives. Anything any of us have done? I put this logo in the corner, oh, this was knowing that I stand in here, and now I'm dodging my own. Oh, good job, dude. Your logo is not good. God damn drip on it. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, it's no... Um, I'm making chocolate crinkle candy canes. Nice. Somebody was making a mint version of your cookies. Who said that? Hold on. Oh, I forgot to separate. Shannon says, I am making the mint version of your chocolate chip cookies. Three kinds of fudge and two kinds of Christmas crap. Nice. Is that the crackle stuff that's, uh, like, white and red? And, like, it's almost kind of like peanut brittle, like, in, in texture where it breaks apart and then you just have chunks of it. I don't know. When I hear Christmas crack, it's either <coughs> the, it's kind of like Muddy Buddies, but with Christmassy things and more things and stuff, or the stuff that's made with the saltine crackers. That right. They call that crack, too. I don't like it when they call things crack. I wish they would not. Hillary's Corner says, hi, Dan from Pittsburgh. Oh, hey, are you going to the Penguins game tomorrow? <laughs> they play early against Carolina, and you should go there and then FaceTime me. <laughs> Yeah? Yeah. All right. To the butter and two kinds of sugar, we are adding a teaspoon of vanilla and an egg yolk. How long until um, I can have a little bit of spike, like a little... You know, get, get your dirty, unwashed fingers out of there. Yeah, wash your hands. There you go. <laughs> Tastes like butter and sugar? That was boring. Yep, it's just butter and that sugar. That doesn't count towards my allotted bites of asking. That's a that's a that's a wash. <laughs> Hannah says she can't help but think that bottle of vanilla looks like a bottle of water. I assure you, it was much more expensive than a bottle of water. It's really good vanilla. Someone sent that to me, but I don't remember for Why the life of me. Why is your was. vanilla clear? Cause it's fancy. It's like crystal clear Pepsi, crystal clear butter. Stop with the crystal clear. Butter and sugar makes stuff taste great. It does, but butter and sugar by itself is not really that tasty. I'm going to scrape this up to get it mixed in better. <laughs> you make Dan sound like a... You always make poor Dan like a big old slob. Nay, I'm pretty clean. I mean... I'm clean enough. Do I smell like tortillas yet? No, but did you bathe today? Well, today's not over. Oh, I'm Blake bathed today. I think you guys are on the office schedule. I bathed yesterday. I'll probably bathe after the show. Probably? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, after all, since I missed several episodes, have you ever tried the water bottle suck trick for egg separation? No, I have not. I tried um, doing it by hand the one time. Jess sent us a little egg separating contraption. I honestly just like to do it with the shell. I never have a problem with it with the shell. Um, I have seen the water bottle trick, but I've not tried it. Have you? Does it work? 
Your shirt from yesterday isn't clean. It's in the my shirt from yesterday's in the wash. This is today's <laughs> this is today's shirt, Marco. I know you're keeping it. It's track. not in the wash, it's hanging back up in the closet. My yesterday's shirt? What were you wearing on the show yesterday? Oh! I'm, oh, I, oh yeah, that. I thought you meant my yesterday afternoon shirt. No, oh my Santa shirt? No, it's hung back up there so I could wa I could wear it again. I can go See put it on. See you Thursday. I can go put it on Friday? and put my robe on Friday. over yeah, if you like. All right, so butters, no butter, sugars, vanilla, egg, and then we're gonna add two cups of flour. Just a simple shortbread. Marco says, oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear the disappointment in his voice. It's still not going to be good. It's just a shortbread. Save your bites for something that's going to taste better. This one is also one that I've made many, many years in a row. Uh, Nanda posted something from, I believe it was 12 years ago. We were on our way to a Christmas party at her house, and I made these. Oh, yeah, yeah. Afriel says, I've not tried it either. I'm afraid I would break the yolk, and I know if I do it with the eggshell, I'm not going to break the yolk, so I just stick with what works for me. Uh, hello, Patricia Kelly. Thank you for joining us. We are making almond roca cookies at the moment. Uh, we are about a minute and a half to four and a half minutes away from taking biscotti out of the oven. Yay. And then we are making Snickers filled peanut butter cookies. Come on. Incorporate. Is it working? Yeah, there's just a big blob of dough on the paddle itself. There it goes, now it broke free. This is a pretty thick though. What's your favorite thing that I've made so far? Like Ever? over over this weekend. Um, those cookies that are over there with the three only three <laughs> chocolate, chocolate chips cookies? on you. Yeah. Only three. Yeah, those ones are really I those ones are those ones are really good. Um also, today, I was putting marshmallow fluff into the eggnog fudge thing that you were melting and, and, and doing, yes. and then when I was done, I got to, like, lick all my stuff. And <laughs> all was, your stuff? Yeah. With your fingers? Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. And it was so, it was so good. It was so good. So I'm excited for that. I'm really excited for that. But the cookies were, it made me happy. Oh, Crystal, do you have a preference on a candy melter? They all suck. They, Look, when, I, when I'm doing it this time around, I'm putting it in the microwave because that worked for me when I did the uh, Muddy Buddies. I had the old brown Wilton candy melter, and it was amazing. It worked perfectly, except it was metal and the handle broke off. When that happened, my brother brought, bought me the new one that they've replaced that with as like far as their stock. White. It's white with purple trim, and the chocolate seizes up at least half the time. So I'm frustrated with it, and I just stopped making things that require melted chocolate. But yeah, I do have stuff that's going to need melted chocolate. Uh, the butterscotch squares will be, need to be dipped in chocolate. And, oh, I didn't set a timer for this. Oh no, how far back? When did I start this? Right about the time I took this out, which was 17 plus 5, 22. Alexa. Set a 40 minute timer. Crystal, can you buy melted chocolate already? 40 minutes, starting now. No, you can buy uh, like a cup of chocolate that you put in the microwave and melt. But no matter what, you're not getting liquid chocolate. You can get like Hershey syrup, but it's never gonna harden. Oh, uh, okay, because it's, okay, right. Okay, yeah, it would never it. go back to hard. Okay, gotcha. All right. You should be able to get liquid and be able to put like something in there and then have it harden. I don't think that would work. I'm just taking this off of here real quick because if it stays on the hot pan, it's going to continue to cook and they're actually perfect right now. It's 
so weird that the crock pot doesn't have a light on it or something to indicate that it's on. It's a crock. It is a crock. This oven has been on for so many hours. The heater hasn't kicked on all day, though. No, I noticed that. So once these cool completely, I will melt some white chocolate. Oh. <laughs> what? Do I need to go to the store? I used all my white chocolate. <laughs> but I bought you three bags. You did. But I used one bag for the... Oh, I don't need it, like, right this minute. Okay. I'm Hold not on. in a rush at all. Like you do tonight, though? Um, let me see what the recipe says. I can, uh, I can run over to Aldi real quick and grab it. You're in your row with pajamas. <laughs> so what, it's Aldi. I can put it on tomorrow. It's not even a rush. Okay. Nobody wants to go out when it's dark in this town. I mean, if you don't need it tonight, I can get it in the morning again. That's I have I like a half a bag left or like a third of a bag, but I don't know if that's enough to put chocolate on all of them. Do you want me just to go get it and be done? I don't need it tonight. Okay. Then by the time you wake up but tomorrow, I'll have chocolates. Here. My hero. I might have other things on the list depending on how the night goes. Oh yeah, that's that's fine. <laughs> we'll see. You're probably gonna need bananas for this week too. So. Yes, yes, I will. Walton says uh, her crockpot doesn't have a light either. Maybe it's not a standard thing, but I I feel like anything that powers on should have some sort of light for you to know. I agree. If it's not gonna do something like my mixer, I know when it's on because it like spins and makes noise. If you're not moving and making noise, you should have a light on. It just makes sense. Uh, Marianne says, who talks more of the cats? Uh, could you rephrase that, like, which cat meows the most, or which one of us talks to the cats the most? Uh, rephrase and I will help I would you. say, like, of all of the cats, which one talks the most? Um, that's, right that's this minute, like. it's Mama Cat. She's very talkative. Mooch is very squawky. Mooch will let you know when he needs something. Uh, oh, Kamiko. Kamiko's very, Kimiko. very whiny. Kamiko is. That uh, one says, you'll know, go touch it. It'll be warm. Yeah, but I shouldn't have to touch something hot to see if it's hot. <laughs> there should really be a light. Plus, what if I start my dinner and it's not working and then I don't know until I go back half an hour later and then I'm like, oh, I guess it wasn't cooking after all. Or with the crock pot and go back six hours later and go, right. oh, it's not even turned on. My arms are so tired. <laughs> I've stirred so many things today. Okay. That just goes there. Because it'll be needed again. Alright, so this is going to go in a jelly roll pan. Hi. Are you feeling lonely and left out? No, not at all. Oh. I was just handing out. <laughs> you just came to be front and center? Yeah. That's fair. You're never going to get that off of there. What off of where? Do you think I'm gonna spray it here? I always I spray it. I don't know what you're doing. Uh, did you guys see Topo walking by back there? He's on the dryer. Oh, he was. He might have disappeared behind it. Oh, yeah, he's on the washing machine now. Hey, buddy. Afriel says her uh, avocado green crock pot from the 70s has one. They, I think they just decided to change them. Yeah, it just seems weird. I always check mine a few minutes after I start it. Yeah, now I realize that's a thing you have to do. I just, I don't really use the crock pot. It's not my thing. All right, bunch of dough. We spread it in here flat. Hi, little girl. Oh. Girl's like, I didn't see the kitten, and I'm like, did you just call Topo a little girl? <laughs> oh, this, thing's, this thing's huge. That's why I was a little confused. Look, he's I'm a little delirious from the cooking he's, fumes. He's not happy on with whatever you're doing right there. He's like, could no. I get away? Yeah. But he doesn't go too far. What's up? Go play, uh, go play with Terry. <laughs> I threw him over that way. He didn't go anywhere. He's back here until we feed him. Your problem. He is. Oh. Yep. He is. 
over here. He's like, look, we're gonna go over here to where the food is. That's some sort of break in the action there. Yeah, I don't think they got me lunch today. They only had a late breakfast. Yeah, like a brunch. Then, I've been in here doing stuff. Also, um, it, since it's been getting colder and stuff, they've been snoozing a little bit more. Yes. So. The Topo is the best stepdad ever. He really is. He's so good with the babies. All right, I like to get my hands a little bit wet and then it won't stick to my hands and I can spread it a little bit better. Now they're playing by the litter box. How did you come up with your cat's names? Well, there's three of them that are unnamed, and one of them is Kitty. <laughs> four, yeah, four if you count Kitty, who doesn't have a name. Hey. Someone commented on an Instagram post the other day suggesting a name for her, and all I could think was, where were you like seven years ago? She had no name. Um, most of them are just, uh, did somebody ask? Oh, Hillary asked that. Um, her cat's name is Cedric from Harry Potter and has two dogs. Uh, Mooch is named Mooch because he's a food moocher and he likes to eat everybody's food. Kumiko, we got to be his little buddy. So Kumiko means companion child in Japanese. Uh, Topo, Dan wanted to name him Mouse and I vetoed that, but Topo means mouse in Italian. So I told him he could be a Topo, but he could not be a mouse because he's a cat. Uh, Rizzo, we found under the card. She was all greasy and Rizzo is a character from the movie Grease. Oh, hold on. PJ says, hi, everybody. Passing through Flint. Lock your doors. <laughs> Lock your doors in your YouTube channel. We were driving, and Jess was like, we got to stop so we can go to the bathroom. And then it's like, we're not stopping in Flint. <laughs> we'll drive through. We'll hold it. We'll drive through. So best way to do this is honestly just with your hands. Just mash it in here as well as you can. Try to get it as flat as you can. It will rise up just a little bit. Uh, so it does not have to be perfect. I'm a little delirious for all the cookie making. <laughs> Name the kittens thing one and thing two. Oh, they're thing one, thing two. They're terror one, terror two. But I can't just be like, oh, like this is thing two. Like <laughs> they do, they are a parallel. They are very much a pair. We're getting there. They'll have names soon enough. Danielle says, me when I see a kitty, excitingly kitty! Yes, if you uh, check my RFS Cats Instagram, there are many pictures of me with random cats that I have found in public. Remember the one time we went out to eat at the mall, and then when we were leaving and we were standing by the car, then there was a cat in the mall parking lot, and I picked it up and I snuggled it, and I was a little bit drunk, but I loved the mall parking lot cat. See, I remember every cat I've ever pet. That's right. <laughs> I'd pay money to see that crystal. That's like your version of the notebook. I don't know what that means, because I don't watch chick flicks, Dan. All right, so this is going to go in the oven at 350 for 20 minutes. So you can see this is how I get the Christmas baking done. I don't just make one recipe all the way through. I made the biscotti, I put it in the oven, I started working on the next recipe. That goes in the oven. Now I'm going to clean the Silpat mat so I can start getting the peanut butter cookies ready. That dough is already made. If you guys were not here last night, we made peanut butter cookie dough. And uh, I do need your help to unwrap Snickers, Dan. Yay. Yes. When, and Terry, like, if you want to help. Um, yeah, you can probably start on that. Let me get the bowl. Hi, Foxy Koala. I hope you have fun tonight. I hope whatever you go get at GameStop's cool. All right, before we start this, actually, let me clean my mat because I'm going to need to lay it on the counter to dry. Um, you're not going to use this for just like a little bit, right? Can I sit it like right over yes. here? Yes. So yeah, I'm done with the mixer for now. Sorry, much. You're done with this for right now, too? Uh. No, sorry. Yes, because after, hang on. Watch your fingers. Yeah, after that's done, I stir it, and then it goes for 30 more minutes. That's not the drawer I want it. Okay, you can take it away. Okay, 
you're still petting it. I'm still doing stuff here. It's, but we were. Did I give you permission? And why would you open it like that, Dan? You're now, how are we gonna store the rest of them? <laughs> savage. You are a savage. Hang on. We have to. We have to count, or you're just gonna be out of control. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 7, Can I have number 50? 38, Alright, recipe calls for 60. Usually when I make these, I do very minimal, just enough peanut butter dough to cover the Snickers. I don't want a whole lot of cookie around it. It is kind of a big cookie already to begin with. So I usually end up doing more than 60, but we always start with 60. Hannah said, and this is how the talkie dust ended up everywhere. Yeah, I usually do not let Dan things open things because that's what happens. Uh, Wilton, you said I make him sound like a slob. Did you see how he opened the Snickers bag? And then what? Like, we didn't finish him. How do you store this? Like, it's just spilling out everywhere. He is half slob, I assure you. All right, Husky Mount Veronico, are you here? We're making Snickers filled peanut butter cookies. If you guys missed it last night, we made this dough. If you try to, oh, I should have left this out for a while. <laughs> if you try to cook these right away, you make the dough and you try to cook them, they're going to be flat cookies. It's going to be really ugly. It's a flat, regular cookie with a big square sticking up in the middle. It's not cute. If you wait and refrigerate it at least four hours, preferably overnight, then when it cooks, it will maintain its shape. So it will be a little bit of a ball -y type shape. You'll see. You'll see when they come out. Dan, do you remember last year when I made the peanut butter cookie dough? And then it wasn't right and I had to throw it away and make it again? Oh, uh, it was so much. It was a big flop. We didn't show. Was that on the show? No, that was just my, my holiday baking. And I was like, we'll save it. And I tried a little bite of it and it was bad. It was terrible. It went right in the trash. After all, since I use my sewing kit, oops, biscuit tins to store extra candy bars that are fun size. I have plenty of tins, but no, the point is I should be able to store it in a bag if it came in a bag, right? I'm going to call you biscuit tins. For <laughs> <laughs> you. All right. So you just take the cookie dough in your hand and you smash it flat, like take a ball, smash it flat. Take a Snickers, stick it in the middle, and just wrap it up around there. You can make it as thick or as thin as you want, but make sure you cover all of the Snickers. If you don't, it will leak out. So you want to really check the corners, make sure you have enough there on the corners. And when you bake these, they don't really expand too much. They do a little bit, but not a whole lot. So you can put them really close together on your pan and make a ton of them all at once. Is this the last show before Christmas? No, ma'am, you are not going to want to miss Friday night's show. We are doing two baking shows this weekend. No baking next weekend because next weekend is Christmas. And Friday night, the 23rd, Christmas Eve Eve, we are doing a super fun special surprise plus giveaways episode of Dantix 2.0. So make sure you show up for that. It'll be a lot of fun. Then that's it, I think, until... I think until the new year, yeah? Dan, can you double check the calendar? Um, yeah. I thought Wednesdays was canceled. Yes, Wednesday is canceled. The, the Wednesday after Christmas. So I think after the 23rd, there's no show until New Year's Eve. Correct. Thanks, Terry. Dan, you're so helpful. He was. He was very helpful. By staying out of the way. <laughs> and comic relief. Fair enough. Yeah, we've got a lot of giveaways, like more than you've ever seen on an episode of Dantix before. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Don't harp it up too much. Well, usually we do one or two, and there's more than one or two. Hey, stay back. 
We've been trying to teach him. He's allowed to be on the pillow, but he can't come onto the counter. He's learning his place, but he's very interested in what's going on. I don't know if you guys can see who I'm even talking about. Can you? Where's your camera going? Oh, you're showing the wrong cat. I was talking about the little boy is there next to Mooch. Oh, his, his head's in the corner there. And Rizzo. Rizzo's like, what you up to? Me too. She says, me too. Always me too. That's her other nickname. Mm, yeah, Riz. You are very interested in the baking process. Sometimes he gets bites, and he's learned that, so he's here just in case. The little boy Mush is looking intently into what all's what into, into all what's going on on the counter. Yes, he's he's learning. Beautiful markings on Mooch's sidekick. Don't tell Mooch you called him his sidekick. He does not want to be friends with anybody. Mooch wants a kitten. Crystal the animal lover. I still call him Alexander Hamilton when no one is listening. <laughs> <laughs> Terry comes home from work and then talks and goes and says hi to every cat individually yes, every day. Is. Every day. Every day. Those are like my little fur nieces and nephews. There you go. You have so many of them. I like them. I haven't been around cats in a long time and I like to be around cats. Hey, hey. This little boy though is super curious. He'll sit here and watch what's going on. He'll go and sit between the keyboard and the monitor. And you'll just start playing with the with the monitor. I'll show you. This was a uh, this was earlier. Earlier he was. Uh, okay, let me see. He was trying to get dice. Hold on. He was trying to get uh, the monitor from what I was doing earlier. He's all like, "Oh, I can watch you play bass guitar." <laughs> Marion says I've been sleeping on the couch the last two weeks because my room is too cold that's terrible do you guys have out there electric blankets because that is the saving grace of winter for me no somebody's getting into something um, we have an electric blanket on our bed which allows us during the night you can run the heater much lower because you're warm in bed so you don't have to have the heater warming up the room as much I don't know if that's a thing there. I worked with a lady at the bank who was absolutely terrified of electric blankets. So she slept in a coat and gloves, Terry. Like she would tell me, <laughs> it was an older lady and she's like, yeah, it's too cold in my room. So I just put like winter gloves and a coat on before I go to bed and like thermal pants, I think she said. Like she bundled up to go to bed. And I'm just like, why don't you get an electric blanket? Nope, because they, they light people on fire. I have had one since I was a child. I've never had an issue. And honestly, it's a risk I'm willing to take. For real. <laughs> really, though. Marion says, I don't have it. I use a hot, oh, hot water bottle. We don't really do those out here so much. Are, are electric blankets available and you just, like, you choose to have a hot water bottle? That's what you choose to use? Or is it not a thing that's available there? Hey, those aren't for you. But I hear the crinkling. Wilton had an electric blanket as a kid and it never started a fire. See? And even if it did, like, I think I would wake up and get out of bed faster than I would get burned. So at least I would be warm and toasty. Uncle Yukon says, can't have an electric bl blanket with the dogs. Jumping on the bed, they can break a wire and get shocked or start a fire. I see that being, you know, more of an issue. I know when you have them on your bed, you're not supposed to sit or lay on them because it can mess up the wires. Oh, Marianne says, it's here, but I love my hot water bottle. But not enough to be able to sleep in your own bed? I'd be sad sleeping on the couch. Hi, Dan. Hi. I think this might be your favorite of my Christmas baking. This is a good one. You're always excited for these. Yeah, those are always good ones. You can't get out of bed if it's smoking and makes you unconscious before it bursts, bursts into flames. Valid point, but at least I'd be warm. Also, you'd die in your sleep. <laughs> Which is kind of the way to go. <laughs> kind of. Oh, Thursday, it's going down nine degrees at night. That doesn't happen here. Afriel says they have bed pads that are like electric blankets too. Yeah, my mom has that on her bed. It's like a mattress pad you put on your bed. I, I slept on those before, and it feels weird to be heated from the bottom. I liked it as well, like that... It was fine, but I still felt cold on top. 
I like the top blanket. Yeah, the heat didn't transfer as much. You know what I want? The one that does the cooling that blows it. <laughs> it has a little fan at the bottom. Yeah, because I'd be hot at night. Mm, that goes under the sheets and like blows the, mm -hmm. the fan. That's pretty cool. Night sweats suck, bro. I have a friend and they sleep on a, a water bed? Like an old <laughs> so school water weird. bed. Like a like the like just like a water balloon. <laughs> yeah. Like like if giants showed up, they would rip the top of their house open and grab the the water balloon sack and <laughs> throw it at the other giant. I'm closer to you now. I'm all done with Perfect. The Thank you. Two. Ouch. 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 Hi Marco. I hope you're having a good Saturday night. What's minus two? Ouch. Is that how? Because uh, Tiamat said it's negative two here. Oh, I thought that's how much your team lost by. <laughs> Do you mean yeah, Jess can... and Jamie Dan? I think that's them. I think that was their names. Yeah. I think that's them. Yeah, maybe. Right. So weird. My parents had a waterbed frame, but they had a regular mattress in it, which was weird. Like my my that? family too. That's because like people like wise up, but they all have the same. Headboard, no, they right? they never had a waterbed. They purposely bought oh, a waterbed okay. frame. No, we had a waterbed. Like my parents had a waterbed. You know where you could you could fall into that little crack on the side, and then they had like the the the, the padded bumpers and that big huge you know oversized headboard with like two different size cabinets on top that were glass and like exactly. a yes. thing. Yeah, everybody's got that. Jess kind of has one in her room too, but they had that. But yeah, does she have a touch lamp on top of it? Because I think that's required as well. Dude, I think there might be a <laughs> touch lamp in her. In the room that I stay in, <laughs> I think the touch lamp is in the corner. I'm pretty dang sure that the touch lamp is in the corner. Um, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. So all I'm doing when I'm wrapping it is like sometimes as I go around, I can see a corner, so I just try to increase the dough there. Because again, if if the dough is not thick enough to cover the Snickers as it cooks, the Snickers will leak out and they'll be messy. Yeah, it sucks. Uh, Martha said, uh, Mark. Martha? Martha says, yes. hi everyone, I'm only going to be able to watch on my break. Give me your boss's number, I'll make a call real quick, I'll get you out of work for uh, probably ever. Uh, and then you don't have to go back. Apparently people, Dan, are all about waterbeds. My back says no. <laughs> I like the noise. <laughs> I want no part of that. To be fair, I don't think I've ever slept on one, but it just doesn't sound like something I would enjoy. Uh-huh. <laughs> Marco. I would just be afraid of puncturing it. It's like, oh, it's time to eat a steak on the bed. And then uh, I would drop my <laughs> Never mind steak the cats. Knife. I would drop my steak knife. My parents also had these big things that went over the end that were like pleather. That like Yeah, the, the like, bumpers. The, yeah, like, the, bumpers. The, little padded, the little padded uh, bumpers, yeah. I didn't know anybody else with a waterbed. I didn't know if that was standard. Yeah. The cats would absolutely pop the waterbed. That's not a thing we could even consider. They started making waterbeds different then after a while where they had channels in them. So it was kind of more like within the channels. But I'm talking about like just the big water balloon. It, it was a water balloon in a box. Dude, we were on the second story too. Like, I don't oh, know. Your mom's here. She heard you talking about her waterbed. Oh, <laughs> hey, hi, mom. Hey, mom. Why did you get a waterbed? Like, what is it? Because, like, that was the cool thing to do. And did you like the waterbed? Also, how did we carry all that water upstairs to fill the waterbed? <laughs> you know, oh, hoses are kind of long. Window. And on top of that, how did we drain out the waterbed? I have questions. I have questions, Mom. <laughs> My parents had a waterbed, too, in the early 90s. And we were living in Silmar, the Northridge earthquake happened, and my mom was in the bed. And just she, sloshing? Yeah, she said at first she thought it was because my dad came home late or whatever, or was getting up early from work or, for work or something. So there was a little bit, because he was a big old fat guy back then. And right. And so, like, movement, water bed. Until it started slamming her into the headboard and, and stuff. <laughs> that was a pretty violent one. And she couldn't, mm. like, she couldn't get off the bed because of the water bed. She <laughs> just, like, slinky sloshing all over you the place. You get seasick. Yeah. Aww. Oh, that's, that's crazy. Um... So, like, Brittany says, Dan, get your mom on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I always thought that it was it was just so big and heavy, but I'd always slosh on oh, Dan, stop sloshing the water, man. <laughs> Dan was trying to surf on it. Huh. How much more is on my timer? Your balls are very, like, round. Like, they're, like, very evenly. I'm, I'm nothing if not consistent size. with my cookie making. I wanted, I always try to get them to put, even though it, you couldn't see in there, it wasn't clear it was gray, but I always thought it should be clear you could put food coloring in there. <laughs> yeah. There's no way to stir anything around in there, just all settle. <laughs> it would be bad. Gross. That's right, because the waterbeds are cold, and you have to have the little, like, 
I think one time, like, the heater died on Jess's waterbed, and they had to drain some of it so they could lift the sack on the side to, like, replace the little panel. Sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> Jen says, Brad, man, I'm in Manitoba, but I don't think any of those words I said sound like what you would say if you said <laughs> Manitoba. <laughs> yeah. I kind of need to know what you sound like, Jen. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What? Nothing. I'm getting excited for the best of the... And I, I see all these, like, naked Snickers here, and I'm just nope. trying to be like... There's a whole bag over there. No, no, I have two already. I gotta watch out, because... Because you're gonna be eating I'll, cookies? I'll, yeah, they each have one little letter on there, and I will get a triple word score. <laughs> uh, Jen says, oh, I'll just your at... typical Canadian. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, look at Topo. You can't have that. Uh, Topo's like, I don't care. Okay, we just want dinner. We'll feed them in a, in a little bit. I should get my chocolate ready. Oh, here we can see what's going on here for a second. Like we're supposed to, if this was <laughs> like we're supposed to. Damn cut weight next year. I did. Okay, here's the thing. I did. I was like 193, and like, whenever you went to Chicago, was that July? Yes. Ju July, and then I got down to like 168, 170. And now I'm like at like 178 because I started holiday eating. So because <laughs> I started baking, I'm trying to stay under 180. I'm trying to stay under 180. So, but like I can't cut too much weight. I'm already like like scrawny everywhere else. Like else, it just goes. <laughs> so my feet, my cheeks go. Cheeks go boop, 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 boop. Jen the Canadian I'm trying. says, I'm trying. "I've been a silent watcher for a very long time. Tonight, I oh, found my voice. Finally, I'm hi, glad welcome. you did. We oh always wonder, like, we have more people. There's 93 people viewing right now. There are not 93 people chatting right now, and we always wonder, like, what are the other people doing? Why yeah, don't they say anything? I know. Anything? Did the people from Manitoba watch? Right? Well, they're all snowed in for 19 months of the year. Also, you're forever Jen the Canadian now. Yeah, another, yeah, <laughs> yeah. From Manitoba. Mm -hmm. Well, welcome. I know you know everything about us, and we know nothing about you except for except you're Canadian and maybe probably cold. <laughs> oh, my mom said something. Oh my, yes, it was the thing at the time. But it was hard to get out of because it's suede, and I don't remember how your dad and brother filled it. And um, your mom's little, so I bet it was extra yeah. hard for her. <laughs> how, this happening? how tall are you, mom? Are you five one? Well, now you've got to be under five. She's foot. shorter than I am, and I'm five four. Yeah. So you probably we'll I put, put her, her at, like five. We'll put her at five foot. Five foot. Okay, I need. Well, that's right. I forgot you used to talk about not being able to get out of it very, very well. Since there was a, since the, like. It curved down, and then you had to like go over the big speed bump. <laughs> Ooh, this smells good. Whatever's in there. All right, we'll get back to the peanut butter cookies in just a minute. I need to measure out my cup of milk chocolate chips. I don't have a cup anywhere. You back up. I see you thinking about hopping up somewhere. Athena says, "I hate water vents to the fact that the animals can puncture them or they can burst open. Look, think of it this way: the cat pokes through it and it squirts a little hole out. You need to get yourself a little drinky drink." You know, maybe put a little piece of tape on there. I, w I wouldn't tell Crystal. I'd put a little piece of tape on there at night. I'd be like, put that little piece of tape back there. You maybe terrible. after a little bit, it'd get, come unstuck during the day and leak out, you know? <laughs> leak out a bit. It's awful, man. Awful. Oh, uh, what are we painting? We are painting Snicker peanut butter Snicker cookies right now, <laughs> is what we are. Uh... Oh, what? She was are... talking to somebody else. Oh. Let's see. Your mom's 4'11". Dang. She's just little. Now Becky says, hey, Dan and Crystal, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Is that Thank why you have that plaque so you can park closer? It's because your legs are, <laughs> there's like too many steps to get into the, into the Albertsons. <laughs> into the Albertsons. Wow, mom, you are a, you are a bite size. <laughs> that, that was weird. I, don't eat her. I'll never say that again. Sorry, mom. It's <laughs> just a short red tail. Megan says, I'm 5'5". Five, five. How tall are you? 5'4"? Yeah. Okay, so you're taller. This is not cooking very well. Hi. Hi. Jennifer says, I'm 4'11 as well. Wow, we need the, do we need the 4'11 uh, club? Every time we talk about height, we realize... Oh, uh, I yeah. busted. <laughs> Damn, be nice to your mom. How much of the audience no, is No, she'll hit me with her cane. She will. I've seen her do it. Okay, so here's the situation. What is the situation? Are you doing more of these right now? Um... No, because I have to wash my hands. Like, I have to do that and then wash it off my hands. And it's just about time for the almond roca cookie. Okay. Um, I don't know if I used the wrong pan and it's not cooking evenly enough. It looks a little crispy at the ends and it's a little mushy in the middle. 
But the temperature is correct. I have my thermometer hanging in there, and it's it's cooking evenly, like as far as temperature goes. Those chocolates right here in this cup look like they might spill over. You should reduce by a few. No, absolutely not. I am gonna crack the window because it's getting really warm in here. Okay. I don't know about you, but it's a that's fine. Toasty. No, you have some layers on, which I I'm loving this. I'm glad it's back. Thanks. It's finally cool enough that you can wear all the cute stuff again. Yes, There's, and I have to put the apron on with this shirt because the shirt buttons there up. There are cats. It just spreads open. Yeah, there I are cats. There are cats. There are little cat heads on it. And more cats there too. Yeah, little cats and little fishy things. How fun. Uh, Del says, if I wanted to make the peanut butter cookies, could I use fun size Snickers cut in half? We don't have the bite size ones here. Absolutely, I've done it before. When I get down to the end and I'm like, damn, I don't have any more of the, the minis, cut them in half. You could you take a whole Snickers candy bar and just cut the pieces. Because as long as it's completely surrounded by the peanut butter cookie, nothing's going to come out anyway. And yeah. once they cool down, it's going to set back to how it is normally. Because look so, how big they yeah. kind of are. So make sure you cut them kind of small because that yes. is a big cookie that's got to kind of like melt its way through a, a bite-sized snicker. So kind of keep them uh, on the smaller size because that is probably the biggest round that we're going to see tonight. Yes. Height-wise. Yeah, those are a, a big, uh, solid Otherwise, cookie. you were saying that maybe they goo out. What was the scenario that they goo out in? If, if you're not completely wrapped around and there's any, like, space where the candy is peeking out through the cookie, it will absolutely leak out. Okay, so this is the shortbread. It cooked a little oddly. We'll see how this turns out. Um... You just sprinkle the chocolate chips over it, and because it's warm and fresh out of the oven, the chocolate chips are gonna melt. The recipe calls for one cup. I always do a little bit more than that. Oven at 350, how long to bake? Uh, Hold on, I don't have that. Find the peanut butter Snickers cookie recipe, please. Oh. Go to the cookie section. Okay, yeah, right there, right there, right there. It says track to Barata. 10 to 12 minutes. Oh. Ouch. Why would you let me burn myself? 350, 10 to 12, friend. Yeah, let's just do it all. Hang on, there's two more in here. Somebody heard a bag moving. There we go. Then you just get yourself a rubber spatula. Let it melt a little bit. When melted, spread with back of spoon. I use a rubber spatula. Uh, what are your guys' favorite Christmas cookies? Um, everything that I make. <laughs> all of them. Um, the peanut butter Snickers ones are really good. Look, I make all of this and I eat maybe like two of each of these cookies. Not really like big on eating the cookies. I just like to make them. I like to bake more than I like to eat things. So I don't know how well you guys can see this. <coughs> that camera's not really aiming here, huh? No, I can. Uh... Can you aim here? Uh-huh. So they're starting to melt. And you just kind of spread them out. And just the heat of the cookie makes them melt. But don't spread them too much if they're not too melty or you'll rip up the cookie. A Halo Husky baked bronies. Dan's a brony. I'm a, I would totally, yeah. Jen says 5'11 here at all torso. Oh, team torso. Oh, team torso. I'm all torso too. I don't have to sit on something to see over the steering wheel, but I do have to be like right up against the steering wheel because my legs are so little. When we go to like concerts and stuff, Chris is like, all right, I'm gonna try on the zipper hood. And then she puts <laughs> it on and then she puts her hands out straight and half the time it's like that. It's just. I wear a lot of men's clothing because women's clothing is uh, not built for a long torso. What are you, you're a men's medium? Men's medium. Yeah, women, like, the sizes are all jacked up depending on the brand anyway, but it doesn't matter. They're almost all belly shirts on me, and that's not a good look when you're in your 40s. Uh, we are, aren't we? On the outside. <laughs> Only on the outside. Only on my driver's license. Hi, Alpha Shadow. Uh, how are you doing today, David Crystal? Uh, fantastic. 
I'm doing really well. A little delirious from the cookie fumes, but I'm here, I'm baking, making all the things. So you guys can see how it's, it's turning into a spreadable chocolate. Really kind of neat. Like you don't have to melt it ahead of time and pour it on there. You just put it on there and then it melts. Uh, Hillary's Corner says, my Graham used to make potato chip cookies. They are so good. Oh, interesting. Can, yeah, does, does Graham's is a recipe around? Can you throw that our way? You want some potato chip cookies? Dan does love potato chips. So I'm just trying to spread this evenly and get the chocolate all the way to the ends. Sasuke Danielle says, I come back and I looked and went, ooh. <laughs> uh, I fit in an extra large women's clothing and it will shrink to a large. I just don't like the way women's shirts fit. They're always like wide at the hips and I'm not. So they do this like weird fanning out thing. Like, can't we just have straight t-shirts like guys have? It really does not seem fair. So then I just wear guys t-shirts. Oh, uh, what are we doing for Christmas? Um, on Christmas Eve, oh, we're going to hang out here and, like, just spend it together. Yeah, we used to have a holiday, uh, a Christmas Eve tradition of going to a family friend's house that my family went to since we were, like, I think since I was, like, seven or eight or something like that. They used to live right up the street from us, and then they moved much, much further away several times. They kept moving further away out into, like, Nowheresville, but we would always drive out there. It was, like half an hour 45 minutes yeah, to get out of their some house sweet years where everybody was the right age and then you know how it goes everybody starts getting families and growing up and moving away and going other places and and then it was just us but we went faithfully every nothing. year and uh they recently two years ago moved up to reno so we don't make it that far for christmas eve and it's really quite sad i'm still not over it especially because we had popular sickness the last Christmas Eve we were supposed to spend with them and did not get to spend it with them. So it feels unfinished. I'm not very happy about it. Um, but we have not acquired a new Christmas Eve tradition yet. We just kind of hang out at the house. But Christmas Day we'll be going over to my mom's house and uh, making enchiladas Oh yeah, yeah we'll dinner. make some enchiladas and just kind of hang out. It'll, it'll, be just, it'll just be a hangout time. And that's Sunday? That's Sunday. Yes. And then you're off Monday, so it'll be nice just to have some time. I just want to like... I just want to have time. And the no responsibilities? A little. I mean, no, not really, but yeah, a little bit, you know? Just, just I just want to, like, look around for a minute, you know? <laughs> right. Uh, thanks. But, but I'm excited just to kind of hang out. All right, so that got spread out. Then you take your... Quarter cup of almonds. I don't like this. It tastes like the rubber from the spatula. That's a sad story. And you just sprinkle Terry, this on do you top. Want to lick your fingers on chocolate, or are you good? Say less. <laughs> Terry will never turn down a snack. Never. Dan, you know I could use every spare calorie. Enjoy, t enjoy, Terry. I think even if you had already licked it, she probably still wouldn't turn it down. Oh no, Terry and I share food all the time. We're not weird like you. Yeah. Well, I don't want to lick a thing someone else licked. What are you doing now? I'm sprinkling almonds on top of the somewhat falsely it's named Almond Roca cookie. That's making it come together. Oh no. There's been a terrible discovery. Everything's poison. Nobody gets anything. <laughs> Can't send it out. Can't send it out. It's all poison. Which I will say every time. It's so good. Uh, Melchie23 wants to know what the Crock-Pot stuff's called. Uh, Crock-Pot candy. I will actually... Um, it's on my, my maybe I'll make this one day board. Alexa, stop. Uh, Alexa, stop. Why you don't Ooh. listen? I don't she's like been, it when she doesn't listen. It makes me mad. Being, she's been being uh, testy lately. Um, I will add the Crock-Pot candy recipe to the recipes I've made on the show board. But right now it is not there. But if you search Crock-Pot candy, you can find it. Have you seen Chris or Amanda tonight? I have not. Have you? No. Um, I like to kind of just go through and make sure the almonds are set into the chocolate. If they're not really down far enough, they'll just fall off when you cut it. So while the chocolate is soft, I kind of just push down a little. That time I pushed into the chocolate.
So that timer should be meaning that it's time to stir up the crock pot candy. So we'll stir that and then it will go for another half an hour. And then we will scoop it out and put it onto parchment paper and put some sprinkles on it. And hopefully it's good. Do they come out of the pan easily? Yes, they do. Although I'm a little concerned this time because it looked like it cooked a little differently than it usually does and I don't know if I grabbed a different pan. I don't know. All right, so this. You want me to set you up a spot back there? No, oh wait, I would do it on, no, you can't put it on top of the oven. That bit of almond was tough. If you put it on top of the, of the chopper, what's that wood chopper thing called? No, it can't go on the oven because it needs to not be warm. Because it, it, the chocolate needs to set and cool down. So this is gonna go on top of the toaster oven. All right, well don't make anything else. Huh? Don't Thanks. make anything else. Oh, okay, I'll stop. Don't do that, friend. I'll clear you all the space. <laughs> Look, more space. I don't know. You tell her stop me. No, that's, that's too hot. Yeah, yeah, sorry. That was a um, bad. That was a bad. You can't decision. bring the camera over here, or can you? Yeah, I could probably work out something. It'll either lock up or work. Okay. Well, we'll give it a shot. Why not? I always say shoot your shot. Where are we trying to go? Um, just to look at what's going on in here. So in case you guys missed it, this is two bags of white chocolate chips, half a bag of dark chocolate chips, um, a 16 ounce package of peanuts, a half a cup of peanut butter, and some toffee bits. I think that was like a third of a cup, but I measured with my heart. It's been in here for half an hour, no, for an hour. And now we're gonna stir it all up together. It smells so nutty. Does this get laid out on something? It's Not so laid out, it's like scooped. I kind of want to like take a tortilla chip. Can so you back up just a bit so I can have it? It gets scooped onto a... Onto like parchment paper to set. And, like we okay. do with the Georgia pralines. Okay, right, right, right. Oh, okay. So like drop. Kind of yes. like drop cookies, but it's not a cookie? Drop candy. Drop candy, thank you. Got it. Is it working? Can you see it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's starting to look like bean dip now, and I want to. <laughs> it does look a little bean dippy. I really it? want to take the tortilla chips to it because it'll probably be salty <laughs> and good. I'm watching it in the camera instead of watching it live. <laughs> you dork. Can I do something to it? No, stay out of it. I'm really like getting antsy now. Um, there's okay. 105 of you here. Hello, happy Saturday night. Uh, Crystal, we're baking lots of things. What are we calling this thing again? This is crock pot candy. Crock pot candy, which seems to be good right now. But it's going to cook for another half hour. Okay. Okay, Dan. And then you're going to set it. This has come out of the crock pot. It is hot. Do not put it in your mouth right now. Oh, this is the best way to go out. Okay, honestly, it's not that. It's not. It's not it's, that hot? It's barely not even warm. It's okay. on the cooler side than warm, so it okay. needs more time. Mmm. That was fantastic. Oh, like I said, that's fantastic. Set yeah. a minute timer. Terry said Eight she minutes. wants a scoop. Starting now. You licked that. I'm not putting that back in there. Well, then you have to do something else. You can't give me and not Terry a scoop. I can wait. Don't you know we're the same? Listen, I know exactly where it's at, and I know how to serve myself. I will wait. Thank you. I mean, there's chocolate all over the rubber spatula, but I put a peanut on there for you so you can get the full effect. Oh, she go give feed me a peanut. <laughs> One peanut. Shut up. Sorry. That was so good. Why, uh... <laughs> and it's gonna get sprinkles. And sea salt. Yay. Okay, so a bunch of people just showed up. We have biscotti that were broscotti <laughs> that we're working on <laughs> The biscotti on is done. It's just gonna get a white chocolate. Uh, like, I'm gonna melt white chocolate and just spread it across the top, but I'm out of white chocolate. What about these delicious balls? I still have to make the Snickers balls. So, yes. so we're, we're are, back to making more of these. Oh, don't yes. bump that, please. Which are little mini Snickers covered in peanut butter. Peanut butter dough. Peanut butter cookie dough. Not just. Don't just cover them in peanut butter. That'll be a soupy mess once you put it in the oven. <laughs> no kidding, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is why Dan doesn't bake. Right. Uh, Doris posted a picture of her scarf to the RFS group. Dan, do you have your phone handy? Are you able to approve that so everyone can see her scarf? I will handy my phone, and then I will do that. Looks like
like mutant Rocky Road to me. Kind of, but there's no marshmallows. Although... I love all the names. I mean... Mutant Rocky I Road. do have those, uh, like, dehydrated marshmallow bits. I vote yes. Like, add those at the end? That could be good. Like, drop the cookie, sprinkle a couple of those on there? Okay, just like right big, on top? Right? No, they're minis. They're, they're like... No, I mean the, your little cookie butt. The, the... Yeah, just about the size of this. Yeah, I think you could totally like a pinch a few and press them on before it's set, and you'd be good. Cause then you don't have to remix anything, like nothing. Right. Uh, yeah. Megan's suggesting you put Nutella on wavy lays. It's really good because you get salty and sweet. Dan loves that. Dan loves like I'm down, Megan. um when I do the uh, dipping of anything in chocolate when there's chocolate left over. I'll always look around and be like, Dan, what do you have I can put in here if he's got some tortilla chips or it's, uh, gummies? Uh, yeah, you like the gummies, but we were talking about salty and sweet. Um, if you have uh, potato chips. Uh, I had you do some Fritos for me once, the salt. Yes. Fritos. Ritz are good, dipped Ooh, in chocolate. Yeah, Ritz. I've made pie crust, um, uh, apple pie crust out of Ritz crackers. Interesting. Brittany's mm -hmm. suggesting putting uh, crushed graham crackers on top instead of sprinkles, so you get kind of a s'moresy vibe. I'm, I'm digging that. We could oh. we could do some variety with these. I'm thinking, friend, we might just charcuterie board those. <laughs> yeah, make a batch of those. Right, like with all little toppings and tipples. Halfrey also says, who thinks Crystal should be nominated for baking sainthood? Friend, I have too many cats. I think that disqualifies me. Because um, I guarantee you there's cat hair in something somewhere. Mm, okay, okay, here we go. Where, where'd we go? Oh, nice. I like the color scheme. Oh, it's all blown out on that camera. Good job. That looks edible. <laughs> Even though I know it's not. Uh, Wilton just made some peppermint mocha hot chocolate with peppermint marshmallows that she found at Walmart. It's nice. good. I'm not a big fan of peppermint flavor. I know, like, tis the season and all, but I like to get uh, caramel, salted caramel hot cocoa. I have some of that in there. I haven't made any. We've been working on the Cadbury cocoa that Linda sent us. Uh, Daisy Games, hello friend. Member for 13 months with her member super chat. Thank you so much. Evening all. I'm eating popcorn and added marshmallows and chocolate melts to mm -hmm. it with extra butter as well. I approve. That does sound delicious. I'm with it. Uh, Doris says it's candy cane style. So these cookies are a bit time consuming. Just heads up. Megan says, you guys have to try my homemade recipe for caramel. I'm a little scared of caramel now because I tried to make it when we made the little apple hand pies and it was a fail and I was quite disappointed. So I'm a little, a little turned off from it at the moment. Uh, Danielle says, have you ever tried peanut butter and strawberry preserves on Ritz crackers? Yeah, I'm poor. I, I grew up poor. That That's a snack. So Terry made uh, pork chops the other night and we put jelly on it. It was a spicy it was jelly. A strawberry jalapeno jam. Strawberry it is, jalapeno. It was good. Ooh, Hannah made crack open the eggnog. Do it. I cracked some open earlier. Dang, all you've eaten today is pizza. I had egg burrito. Oh, valid point. You need a salad. I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to eat this piece into the Batman logo. <laughs> yeah, is that what you're doing? They cut our pizza so messed up. It was so messed up. <laughs> How you doing over there, uh, Husky Mom Bronico? How's your, your cookie making going? As time consuming as mine? I promise you it's worth it. So worth it. So much better than regular peanut butter cookies. You don't have to do that little fork thing on the top. You could, I guess, but then it might get thin and your Snickers might run out. So I wouldn't advise that you do that. Um, and you don't have to sprinkle sugar on top because it's got sugar inside. Plenty of sugar. Don't you worry. There's a whole Snickers in there. <coughs> Megan suggesting putting applesauce on a tender pork loin and some other flavored seasoning too. Oh my heck, it's amazing. Uh, I didn't eat, did eat the applesauce with the pork chops. You have to have applesauce with pork chops. I don't even eat pork chops, but when we make pork chops, I have applesauce. I made the Batman logo with my pizza. Becky made homemade sugar cookies last night. Good job, Dan. Awesome. How did those turn out? Did you, were they just plain sugar cookies or like, did you 
ice them or sprinkle them or what'd you do? Katie is here. Hello, Katie. She says our roads are so icy. I might as well skate to work. Mm -hmm. Might be safer. Well, she sent me a picture the other day and it was like all the way up, like halfway up her car. I'm like, that's ridiculous. I don't know how you also, live in that, friend. At VidCon, or Vid Summit, she brings these, like, in this little pink box, she brings these chocolate-covered potato chips that are really good. Yeah. Like, they don't travel well. They travel to my stomach. Says Dan, who just wants to eat them all before he has to bring them home. Me hey, and Jess Katie. took selfies with them before Katie, we ate them you're, all. Katie, you're in North Dakota, correct? Um, Blake is going to North Dakota next week for two weeks. Uh, could you make sure, could you keep an eye on him? Yeah, could you keep an eye on him? North Dakota's small, right? <laughs> Oh, I feel like he's going to be in for a shock in real winter weather. He has um, borrowed plenty of winter gear he'll from be at, other people. He'll be at, like, the base, I think. Yes, in Minot? But yeah, he is not spending Christmas or New Year's with us this year. Oh, Husky Mom Bronico is actually putting Reese's peanut butter cups in her second batch while the Snickers are cooling. Awesome. Yeah, you could do this with anything. You could put Rolos in it. I've done it before. When we start to run low, I'm like, what other candy do we have? Give me something else to put inside of it. Melissa says, it's cold in my not. Oh, yeah, there's going to be snow, and he's going to be in for a shock. He bought some thermals. Um, he only wears a, a crew socks, I think. The one's not ankle, but like with just a little bit. His legs are going to be so cold. His everything's going to be so cold. He's going to be in for a shock. I don't know what base, Lily. It's in Minot. I know that much. It's cold everywhere north of Texas and California. Yes. Uh, what's he doing there? Vacation? Yes. He is going with his friend that's a girl um, and spending the couple of weeks. Uh, her sister's out there, so they're going to go spend the holiday out there. Are you showing off cuddly cats? It yeah, oh, yeah, it's working. It'll be weird. Not <laughs> Katie says that's a terrible place to vacation. Um, I don't think he's going so much for the place as the people. Um, like that. <laughs> I, I don't. I've never been there. My not is better than. What's GF? I don't know what GF is. I don't know your abbreviations for North Dakota. It's probably better than Flint, that's for sure. <laughs> right? Uh, but still terrible. Yeah, like I said, uh, they're going to visit his friend that's a girl's sister. So it's, it's you know, more, more for people. Grand Forks. Gotcha. Yeah, never heard of it. <laughs> had... Melissa, how do you know? You live in Burbank. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently she knows about North Dakota. Hillary's Corner wants to know, ever make Buckeyes? I have not. Look, to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of peanut butter in general, like, as a dessert thing. I like this because it balances well with the Snickers. Um, the Buckeyes, I think it's just peanut butter and powdered sugar, isn't it? And then dipped in chocolate? Do you know? Yeah, I know it's, like that. it's really simple and super peanut buttery. Yeah. Uh, his girlfriend or female companion? I mean, his it, friend that is a girl. Yeah, it ain't a lady of the night if that's true. <laughs> He's not paying her. <laughs> Megan says, peanut butter balls is what we make out oh here God. in Ohio. Megan, we can't ever just say it right. <laughs> that's it. We just can't. That's what you get for vlogging. That's it. It's cute. It, it, it totally she is. She has a cute accent. Some southern accents. Southern? Is it Southern? I don't know where she lives. I can't think of it right now. But sometimes it sounds like very like, like I can't speak right. Hers is that cute Southern accent, like a drawl. How many times do you bless people's heart every day? Oh, bless your heart. <laughs> do you bless people's heart? Isn't I bet that... she has blessed your heart. I, man. <laughs> I, bet, I bet that's what I bet she has. Melissa says, my son's just out of South Dakota in Montana and near Minot is a dog rescue I watch on Facebook. They're always buried in snow. Oh, well. She's Southeastern. Is that why it's a cute accent and not a, like, Alabama kind of accent? You probably don't even hear your accent. Do I have an accent to you, Megan? Girlfriend or girlfriend? The space between is the friend zone. That's not my place to say. <laughs> He is friends with her, and she is a girl, and they are spending the Christmas holiday in another state together. Y'all can do the math. 
Uh, Hillary says about the Buckeyes, yep, and butter. That, I was going to suggest maybe some butter in there too, but there was peanut butter, so I wasn't sure. They got 36 inches last April. Holy crap. My kid's going to die, isn't he? He's just going to fall down and die. He's going to come home, so I'm dead. Cool. Okay, I will say this. It is colder being here in this house than I am... Cold, that than it is when I'm in Michigan. Yes, and I'm sure he's going to spend most of his time in the house hanging out. Absolutely. The single pane windows are brutal. Yes. They are brutal. I can just feel the cold coming through it. I can Heavy feel it coming through the, the floor. I am not cold at Jess's house. We go into that warm-up car. We go outside, and even though it's cold, it doesn't, like, get you. It will. It will. But then we go and we park at the spot, and we go into the mire, and then we run out, you know, just like we would do here a little bit. Right. But it's... it's I'm not... Yeah, I've been to I'm Jason's house in Illinois in October. And, yeah, they, their houses are temperature controlled. They way, hold in the, the heat really yeah, well. Way more than we see on TV where it's like, oh, dude, that's miserable. Everybody's cold. Yeah. It really isn't that big a deal except for, like, you know, everybody's sliding off the road and shit. Or, you know, people are running in. Who saw the picture of the deer that hit Jess's car? Picture of the deer or the picture of her car? Oh, the car, I mean. Because I thought that she finally posted a public. She did, so I, could I talk saw about it. The NDA's over. <laughs> the NDA's over. Uh, Wilton said, that's why we put plastic over our windows a few days ago. We used to have... Uh, I might. I was going to talk to you about putting thicker stuff over our windows because man is We true. used to have fleece hanging over our windows, um, but they very much regulate what we're allowed to do where we live. And uh, we got told to take that down. I would see sometimes, like, when I would pull into the park, I would see people that had foil on their windows. Is that to keep... You can't the... do that either. Yes, yeah. that that helps, too. Plastic, foil, fleece, stuff like that. But, yeah, we're, we're not allowed here. It's not allowed. Mm -hmm. Afriel says, Yak tracks will help you walk on ice. Walmarts in cold weather areas usually have them. Not sure if yours would. Ours absolutely would not. Um, you cannot get proper... Uh, winter gear that would help you to survive in places that have actual winter in Southern California. That is I, not a thing. I bought all my winter gear in Michigan and it stays in Michigan. And when I leave, just puts it downstairs where the yellow spiders get it. <laughs> you know? Do you shake it out? Uh, yeah. I did. To make sure there's no spiders? Yeah, because there was a spider on it. There was a spider on my boots too, so... You know. Uh, Sylvia says, what are you making? At the moment, we are making peanut butter cookies, but inside of the peanut butter cookies, I am putting little bite-sized Snickers and wrapping them up in there so that when you bake them, there will be a Snickers hiding inside the peanut butter cookies. They're so good. Uh, we already made, we got some crock pot candy going. Uh, that'll be done in about 15 minutes, which is good because this will be in the oven or coming out at that point. Um, and I made some biscotti. And I made almond roca cookies. And then earlier, before the show started, I made eggnog fudge. I made oatmeal cookies that I still have to ice. And I made salted brownie cookies. It is super baking weekend. Husky Mom Bronico says, I tested one while warm. Oh my goodness, so good. Yes, so good. But I feel like you don't really get that Snickers flavor as much as you do once, once it sets. Let me know what you think. Dan always is like, I want to eat them now, but they're better when they set. Like, right when they come out of the oven, it's too melty and you lose the Snickers flavor? Exactly, yeah. I, I prefer to wait until the next day. when they That's when they that's when the flavor really sets in. Yes. But they are still good. And in case you guys missed it, uh, Husky Mom Bronico says she's putting uh, peanut butter cups inside hers. You could do this with Rolos. Um, you could literally put anything in here. You could put Hershey Kisses inside. You could take like a big old candy bar, whatever your favorite candy bar is, and just cut it into pieces and put it inside of it. I think it's good with the Snickers. It's a good blend of flavor. Snickers is not too peanut buttery. And the chocolate and the caramel and the nuts, it all goes really well together. It does. It really does. Well, it says this old trailer doesn't have storm windows and three of the windows are even broken. That <laughs> sucks. We need to put a new house on this property. Um... Just have storm windows over. aren't a thing out here, like maybe in some parts of California, but certainly not where we live with this storm. We literally have single pane windows. Their windows are so nice. There's like, it's like a double pane, and then there's a fixed like area, and then there's more panes, and then like, it they're it's like really a real thick. window. Just have to build a house. All you people back east can just build stuff. <laughs> it's just built in. Afriel, yes, you could totally put little butterfingers inside these. Oh, I bet that would be good. 
I don't like Butterfingers by themselves, but mm-hmm. I like it when there's something else to tone down the Butterfinger, and I bet the peanut butter would be a good balance with that. Right. Oh, no, yeah, Jess is fine from the deer hitting her car. She's just lucky that it hit at the back and not the... She's lucky the deer hit the car and she didn't hit a deer. Yes. But, no, she's fine. But sometimes I'll be driving and she's like, deer! I'm like, this is crazy. What are you doing? <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, Wilton says building supply costs are up really high right now, though. Yes, they are. We need to rebuild our front porch Make it out of after somebody else. crashed into it. And uh, I, I, who can afford that? Really, though. You know, what's a storm? California doesn't have that. Yeah. Like, we're like, oh, my God, it's raining this one day. That's it. That's as close as we get to a storm. A beer and bug said, oh, no, I still haven't fixed my car from getting deered. Is that a verb? Deered? I got deered. It's scary sometimes. And and Jess can like pick it out of the forest like she's freaking Robocop. She's like, look, I see deer over there. I'm like, there ain't nothing over there. It's just trees. And sure enough, like a family will come running out of nowhere. I'm like, how did you see that? Um, I'm sure when there's a possibility they could run at your car and smash into it, you become very adept at spotting Dude, the deer in the forest They're next so cute, to you. but I can't, like, I get it, Bambi. Like, I get it with your mom. Like, you guys are stupid. <laughs> like, and I love them, too, but come on. Come on. All right, so these go in at 350 for 10 to 12 minutes. Deer, We're still at 350. Deer is so common here, it's covered in our insurance. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, so what are you going straight into now? I seen the... Biscotti? No, because I don't have enough white chocolate. I do have to go blow my nose a little because okay. so. Okay. It's your show, Dan. Hi everybody. Um let's do Oh she left me alone with these Snickers. Do you deer hunt? Who me? Uh uh-uh. uh. We don't have like that's not a thing here. That's like not a thing. That's like that's like, you see that on TV with like Elmer Fudd and stuff, or Ted Nugent. Thanks. My in-laws have totaled two cars in two years from hitting deer. Dang, that's some bad luck. Hi there, Dan. Hello, Athena. Dan, don't eat the Snickers. I'll be nice because I want Snicker chocolates. I want them to level up to Snicker chocolates. Tracy said, my brother has done auto body repair for over 40 years, and the deer give him a lot of business. Dang. Hannah says, hi, Dan. Hello, Hannah. We have crazy wind here. Yeah, we have crazy wind here, but, like, we'll get the crazy wind for, like, a week straight. It blows, mm-hmm. blows. The sand comes in sideways. Yeah. Even Michigan, like, you have really bad wind one day. And then the next day it was gone. Like, we'll get that same win for like a week. And then chap lips. Gila the Husky says, hi, Dan. Hello. All right. We got about 10 more minutes on this uh, crock pot yeah, candy. Yeah, Dan, what's my nickname? What do you, what do you have, like, like from when you were a baby? No, she just needs one. I don't know if we've given you a nickname. We just make fun of you for being from a flyover state. <laughs> That's it. That's what you're known for. Dude, everybody's hitting deers. Everyone's what? Uh, everybody's been hitting deers. Scary stuff. Yeah. Those things are heavy. My dad hit one in the suburban when I was a small child. But I was asleep, and so I don't really remember it, except for the thing shook, and then we fell over. And then, like, I woke up and was like, what's happening? And they're like, your dad hit a deer. And I was like, oh, and then I went back to sleep. <laughs> not my problem. Bad. Right, like, not my problem. Oh, you were for local Hannah for a while, but you've sobered up. You're sober Hannah now. How's that looking? And we're so proud of you. Um, pretty much the same. I just wanted to stir it to make sure it was, like, getting heated evenly. And we have about ten minutes, nine minutes, and then we'll start, uh, 
flopping that onto a parchment paper. You're making like all night tonight, huh? Um, yeah, it's only eight o'clock. I got a few more recipes in me. I have a chocolate chip cookie dough in the fridge so I can get those in there. And then, uh, I don't know. I'll have to look at my list and see what else. I have to text Jason something not to forget real quick. So much, there's so much snack in this picture. <laughs> there so is. Much beautiful, so much beautiful snack. Uh, Christina Sadios with uh, a really weird emoji in her super chat. Thank you so much for the support and Thank for the you. weird super chat that says incredible. Happy Saturday. Um, what do I do? Do I just throw this on a, a silk hat? I'll try it. and the fact that I'm giving these out. Most of them are going to have sprinkles on them, but I do want to try some with the mini marshmallows and some graham cracker crumbs. We'll see how that looks. Someone looking for munchies. Who's looking for munchies? Is that you? You need a snack? No, what's going on with Mitch stuff? Uh, Christina says, Merry Christmas. Going to send your box this week. No prune mui. Oh, was that the, the mushy fruit things that I couldn't oh, even yes. taste it? You, you oh Terry gosh. ate a few of them. Yeah, but like... We did not finish them. Checked it off the list. No. Oh, I think Terry, Terry I like, took them, I right? Like, I like them and I... I, I, I think she I ate some of them, but then like, we realized, like, like, they've been here a while. We should probably... These gotta go. But I think it's most of them... Treat, I think about half treat. of them got eaten, maybe. I like that. I can't eat your back. I can't eat your back. Uh, Marco wants to know if anyone has talked to Ben. That is one bummer about not doing the call-in show anymore. We don't talk to Ben. He, I think he's popped in the chat a couple times here and there. Dude, everybody's got one of those little, like, sit-down motorcycle things. They're so popular now. They're so popular, oh, like. On oh, my way to work, there was a guy at the intersection while his bike was laying down and the minivan was mad. <laughs> nice. Yeah, there's, uh, they're everywhere, like, in droves. Um, I do know that I'm friends with Ben on Facebook, and I, I do see him posting here and there, it'll pop up. But, you know, Facebook algorithm, algorithm's all messed up, so it's like, three days ago he posted this. Um, but he is still, still alive and kicking. He just, we don't hear from him much. <laughs> Brittany thought Dan farted. No. Hold on, guys. My Chase app just alerted me, not Chase Bank, Police chase app just alerted me to a chase in the LA area. Let's see. Do we have video? We don't. Why would you tease me? I only want to hear about it if there is a video, please. Oh. All right, NBC LA. Yes. There's a video, friend? There is. So far, he's just driving. I don't even see any cops. Um, if you guys are interested, it's called Chase App, not Chase Bank, Chase App, like Pursuit. And we've been waiting for years for them to make it. They finally made an app that will alert you when there is a police pursuit, almost always in LA. If not, it's like um, Texas or Arizona, sometimes Ohio. The Texas ones are the ones you want to watch. Those Texas cops do not mess around. They will just smash right into people. They don't care at all. They'll run right up to your window and tear you right out of the car. They don't care. A uh, beer mug with the super chat. Thank you so much with the little Kamiko emoji. Appreciate you. Uh, PJ says uh, Ben commented on his video the other day and he messaged with him. Is it the dude on the crotch rocker that the rocket that just went by? Yeah. Um, it's not. It's like a little mini motorbike. It's it's really weird. Uh, Linda wants to know, Dan, what happened to the back scratchers and back massager? Crystal is busy. Thank you. Uh, he really likes my nails. Uh, there, I thought there was one on his desk still. There was one in the living room. And I think the rest he threw into the black hole that is the back bedroom. Is it for anywhere in the U.S.? Anytime there is a televised uh, police pursuit. So you can get it and you can watch the pursuits that happen here. Like, there's also the... Um, I've, I've talked to you guys about it before. I meant to see the one in the chase. No, I wish. That'd be a lot cooler. And he went by my house. That has happened before. No lie. They have gone by our house. Um... There's a, a group for LA police chase or something like that on Facebook that I'm a part of, 
But this app will often alert you to chases that have not been posted on Facebook yet. So I get more alerts on here now that they've updated the app and more people are using it and stuff. And chases are every day in LA, pretty much, huh? Uh, it, you can always tell when it's a full moon because there's like two or three of them in one night. Those are, those are good nights. <laughs> Look, I don't want to see anybody get hurt, but if there's going to be a police pursuit, I would like to be able to watch it, please. That's all I'm saying. we got about three more minutes on this. And then we will start blobbing it. <laughs> they never televise them around here. It's always just cops chasing people down two tracks anyway. Look, follow or download the Chase app to your phone. Um, I think it's for iPhones and Androids. And you can see what happens here in LA. But let me tell you, the thing that's been happening lately is they've been running into parking garages. And then they just like search around. Uh, Liz McKenna says sometimes there's a police chase in the parking at work, parking lot at work. Yeah, they like to run into the, the uh, parking garages and then you just lose them. Uh, the way to go, though, is north on the five. Because once you get into the grapevine area, yeah. the helicopters can't it, chase you if anymore. If you watch enough, you get, I, we could get out of a high-speed pursuit, I think. Also, one, motorcycle was, one went by our house and our backyard was on TV. Ah. <laughs> That's what I was saying. They were asking if that so motorbike famous. was the chase. So, do we have minutes to kill? Um, briefly, Brittany said, are we going to 8 p.m. or overtime? Um, probably done at 8-ish. We've got these, um, coming out in about two minutes, and we'll, we'll drop some of these and see how they're going, but they have to set for half an hour after that. Um, the peanut butter cookies have 17 more seconds, so we'll pull those out, we'll let those cool, we'll show you guys what those look like. Um, and then we'll, uh, we'll finish up here. I, I have very much more to do, but... I can focus better if I'm not also talking to all my friends on the internet. So, you know, I, I, I'm liking to include you guys, but I'll get a lot more done if you just go home. <laughs> Let's be real. Um, if you guys haven't already, please uh, hit that thumbs up under the video here. It does help us out in ways that nobody really understands. But I see there's 99 people here watching. Hello, and thank you for spending your Saturday Happy night Happy Saturday us. night. And Crystal, we got to talk about something that you and I did not address after it happened in bed the other day. Uh -oh. You can get that out if you want to, and then we'll talk about it. Because I, I forgot until now. Oh, they need another Oh, minute. they look so perfect. They do. So, a lot of times when I sleep at night, I'll put a podcast in or something. You know, I have these oh little things God. here, right? <laughs> so, I have one of these I in my ear. They this. fall out of my ear all the time. I'll sleep like this, you know, sometimes <laughs> or like that. I'll switch them out. I'll put them back in here and stuff. It's this little, little air bud here, right? So I'm in bed. It's like probably like, I don't know if it's five in the morning or two in the morning. I don't know what time it is. I don't know if no, you're- No, I was, I was awake and reading okay. in bed. The lights so, were off, but I was reading in bed. So it was probably yeah. like the 12 o'clock, so 1 o'clock hour. It was last night or the night before? It was a like, it was, a, it was like three nights <laughs> Oh, because this is my side in so bed, so I have to be over here I, for the reenactment. I'm sleeping here and next to me here um, is this empty area for the cats to come. Like some of the cats will come over we here. We have a king size bed so the cats can fit. Over here lays Kumiko, then Mooch, then Kitty. And then whoever else. So the mom cat comes and hops on the bed all like purring and stuff and walking all over me and stuff. And I'm like, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? She turns, pushes off to me, <laughs> poops out her butt onto my face and it's laying on my neck. I'm asleep. I'm asleep. I'm like, Crystal, Crystal, the cat just pooped on me. Crystal, and he's you're like, he's freaking out, and, and I'm, I'm like, not moving. Is it liquid or is it like a sitting, turd? And he's like, I don't know. It's, it's on my collarbone. Right it's on I my collarbone. I don't want to move. Like she turned and hopped oh, off, and just like po she like pukanoed, right? <laughs> so it's on me, and I don't want to move anymore. And Crystal, I'm like, Crystal, do something, <laughs> Crystal. And then Crystal turns on the light. You're kind of disoriented for a minute. I'm like, it's here. No, because I did not like, believe you that the cat pooped on you. Like, I've been shot on. You're trying to tell me that the cat pooped just on you. Just a little nugget. And my brain is trying to process how the cat nugget. just pooped one little nugget onto you. Because the cat, I, I open my eyes enough to see the tail up, and she jumped <laughs> off the bed just enough to. Every action has an equal opposite reaction. It's just right. a little, little bouquet. So I tell ALEXA to turn on. We have like, a, not Christmas lights, but they're like like colored lights in the bedroom. I tell ALEXA to turn them on. Right. And I sit up and, and look. Right. And I tell and this moron it. that it's freaking my his ear, earbud. My <laughs> earbud's sitting there. So it must have fallen out of my ear as the cat jumped off. <laughs> And like, it's sitting right there <laughs> on me. And so I was dumb. so excited. I was laughing so I was hard so in excited. bed at like one in the morning. <laughs> oh my gosh. I forgot all about that until so now. Did I. Uh, yeah, so I, uh, 
<laughs> yeah, oh my gosh. And I'm just laying there like, the cat did not poop. What do you mean? The, did you just poop one turd on you? Like, what are we talking about? I thought it was just, just a little... I didn't just smell little, anything. Just a little, oh, <laughs> bloop. Bloop. Oh my gosh. And in my mind, it just like pooped off there. The cat's new. I don't know. I didn't give it what it wanted. And then it popped off the <laughs> bed. on you. Shooting a little, little nugget about it. Oh so, uh, so, I was serious dumb. for a minute too. I'm like, get it. I get it. Get it. Yeah. Yeah, like uh, I was just going to go pick up the turd on your shoulder. <laughs> I just didn't move. I didn't know what to do. All right. Watch out here. They're coming to talk. Don't move. I legit thought, I legit thought that it, it yeah. So this wasn't like at five in the morning. This was a lot. No, of it was like twelve, one o'clock. Because I'll like fall asleep, and then you'll be up for a few hours, and then sometimes I can't tell if it's like the early morning or when you come right. to bed, or if it's okay. But I was asleep, yeah. right? Like you, I was out. You were you had woken up to pet the cat, but you were still like out of it. You weren't like awake, awake. But you were petting the cat, and then yeah, you apparently thought she turned it on you. Oh, Can we get man. side cam, Dan? That was, oh, oh, I forgot all about that. Until... He pulled over. The cops are getting him now. I forgot. Uh, Uncle Yukon says that's what hot dog tongues are for. <laughs> I forgot all about that now. Okay, so you guys can see a couple of these did break open a little bit. Poison. And the caramel is is gooing out. Don't worry about that. Let them set completely. They'll be fine. It didn't run all the way out. Um, so yeah, these will have to set. Let's make some crock pot candy. Yeah. Yeah, like I can't do anything with these because they're soft and mushy and they're going to fall apart. It didn't help. Oh, do you need snuggles? He needs hardcore snuggles. All right. Yeah, so... Dan, Alan is here. That's a hi. hi Alan. Happy Saturday night. Tristan's left. Uh, that's oh. just... I was lay, literally laying there just, just holding on, waiting to see if... Like, Crystal would turn it on to be like, okay, let me go get a paper towel. But I was out of it. I was like half, I was like half I out of it. I just did not believe that the cat just pooped on you. It did I, not seem like You know, and I was just barely conscious enough. You know? You were not conscious enough. Oh my gosh, I know. Okay, so if you guys missed it, and for those who just got here, this is Crock-Pot candy. We put a 16-ounce jar of peanuts... Some couple bags of white chocolate chips, a half a bag of dark chocolate chips, half a cup of peanut butter, a third cup of toffee bits, and that is all melted in here. It's been in here for a total of an hour and a half. You just leave it for an hour, stir it up after an hour, and then do another half an hour. And then apparently you just scoop it. Oh. Which I think might be easiest with a cookie scoop. Oh, and I have, yeah, I'm getting squiddly loops. What's that? We're getting scoopily goops. Are we? That's good. Danny, do you watch the shirt you were wearing? Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> like, oh, that, for, wait, what, like last night's shirt? Yes. My stuff goes in the wash. Why? Not the Santa shirt. I feel like, so, I feel like the snuggle bears hacked your account. You're so worried. <laughs> you should come sponge bath me. Um, Afriel says, oh, gods, now I need tea. Thank you, Dan and Chris. Oh. <laughs> We're here to we, entertain. I'm we, really glad you remembered that story because that was really funny. We made you tea funny. in your pants. I remember, <laughs> I forgot about it yesterday, and I wrote down cat poop on a piece of paper. <laughs> I did not want to I did not want to forget. I did not want to forget this time. Mooch is slipping. He's just, he's mooching. I'm going back up here for some more snuggles. So how are you guys doing? I'm just Fantastic. using a cookie scoop, which seems to be working quite well. And it does not have to be perfect because it's just a little mm. blobby candy bit. Don't worry, I, don't worry, I'm holding you. Uh, let's see. I want to know what some of these to. little balls. Yeah, I wanted to see what was happening Whoa. too. I'm like, what's going on? Reminds me of the pralines, kind of. Sort of, but more chocolatey. I gotta make those tonight, too. Those will be easy to make. You guys can all be so jealous that we get to just be this close to Crystal when she does this. Mm -hmm. You have no idea. They're just kind of mush balls. You might have to make some for Marco. Some of these? Just any, like just anything. Um, I will probably have enough cookies that Marco can come get Yeah. Do you, a, a goodie bag. Do you want some, dude? I'm debating on, there's like 16 people at my work now, and I'm like, Ugh. last year I made, can I, Terry, can you help? I can also, I, I always need help. one of those little bowls. Um, the last color year, ones? Yeah. Last year I made everybody their own little container package. Look, friend, I'm going to bring you another one. Oh, down. no, I just need one, just Are for you, these, okay. yeah. 
Here you go. You're welcome. Um, I don't know if I want to make... I, I don't know if I have enough cookies to make it an individual thing for every single person at my work this, this year. There's like a, a lot of people. It sounds like a party plate, friend. I was thinking about just doing a plate because some of them are kind of like less than grateful about it. Plates are better because then they can grab what they want and it's just one plate, it's like plate not waste. Right, but at the same time, like some of the people I'm like, oh, like I like John's wife and I want him to be able to bring stuff home to his wife and she can share it too. So I don't know, we'll see. Maybe the guys up front that I like spend the most time with will get their own and, and then I'll just put a plate in the back for everybody else. Maybe their wives should make them something. Maybe they Besides should. Angry. Well, we know Joe's getting a, his I, own. Oh, Joe always gets his own, absolutely. Yeah. I've seen what some of these people's wives make. They definitely want my snacks. Flex. I assure you. Flex, friend. Do it. All over my neck. That dang mama cat. I was so, I just couldn't. Nobody pooped on you, Dan. Oh man, I wish you guys could have seen that. And the like shock in your voice of like she just pooped on me, if she pooped on my neck, I don't know. It's on my collarbone. <laughs> you were so over dramatic about it. I still like at that point no levels lost. <laughs> oh, I forgot sea salt flakes. What are you all purring about? Don't worry, there'll be some dinner time. The Brittany said, "Make a sign up list." <laughs> Something. Mooch poor pern. Yeah, always. He's looking. He wants to know when's dinner. It'll be soon. We'll get you something in a minute, bud. <laughs> Beer on Bucks says you pooped yourself, Dan. I I did it, but at the same time, the, the, nobody pooped on you. No. Really? Mm -hmm. I know. Happy cat. Happy cat. What do you want to do? You want to look at people's cards? And this is, I'm just saying, if you have leftover cookies, you guys know I spend like a hundred dollars a year just shipping things to people. That's just the shipping cost. It's a lot. Plus, uh, I think we did the math one year and I spent about $200 on supplies for baking. Hey, are you ready for food? Is that what you're looking for? What? This is a not a cheap endeavor, but I enjoy doing it. I I send some to my brother because he's too far away to ever have my snacks. I send some to our, our our former Christmas Eve family friends. Now that they live far away, I make sure to send some to them out there. I send some to Ma, Dan's mom, because she's so far away and doesn't get my snacks. I think I might have to send uh, your sister Leslie and her family extra chocolate cookies because I brought those for the Thanksgiving thing at her house and everybody was talking about how good they were. Oh, Jason finally texted back. Did he do the thing? Hold on, I had to tell my brother STFU. <laughs> <laughs> Little brothers are good for that. Sometimes, I just Sometimes they just have to be told. Yeah. I I, I hit Tony with some of those sometimes. <laughs> I know he laughs. Uh, Danielle says, did you say you had Ritz with peanut butter and strawberry, then you said you were poor? Yeah, like, look, that's a good snack. But, like, if you're poor people, if you grew up poor, you absolutely had those in your life. If you did not grow up poor, there's a chance you never had those. That was the point I was making there. Wilton's cat Buddy has earned the nickname Buddy the Water Cat. He always wants the bathroom sink turned on, and then he splashes around in it with his front paws, which sounds really cute, but is also probably really messy. <laughs> Sometimes I think Dan splashes around in the bathroom sink with his front paws, but then I realize he just brushed his teeth. Just flung it everywhere. Yeah, no, yeah there's no denying that. <laughs> None at all. It's a party.
you doing down there, Dan? I was hanging out while you were making snacks. Yeah? Yeah. I probably should have put this on a pan so I could move it around more easily when I'm done. Unfortunately, I don't have my glasses. You don't have my glasses. The chat's too far. Too far away from me. Uncle Yukon says they kind of look like turtle candies. They do, but I assure you there's no caramel going on here. That is the one missing thing. It's just nuts and chocolate and toffee bits. Terry, do you remember when my high school boyfriend's mom would make turtles yes. on her counter and she'd spread it all out? Yep. And cover the whole counter with turtle cookies. She, she was so good to us, friend. I love her the most. She was so good to us. She, we needed we needed a lady to be good to us. Absolutely. Who was that? Uh, my high school boyfriend's mom. Oh yeah, yeah. She was a nice. She would make turtle candies. Yeah. That was her big Christmas baking thing she'd always do. Remember she made remember she made me a pineapple <coughs> pineapple upside down cake and I don't know what happened but it it didn't cake it looked like it was. It looked like it was a dove cake by accident. Oh. It turned out really good. I'm sure it tasted amazing. Dane, she was probably younger than we are now, right? Back then? Um, probably about out. the age we are now. Helping you out? Yeah. yeah. His... So maybe like Blake and his like like friends and stuff, you'd be helping them make uh, cakes yeah. and stuff. Yeah, I wanted to make my brother a, a Blue's Clues cake for his, I think, 18th birthday? Mm -hmm. Maybe 16th. Yeah, it would have been 16th, because I was already broken up with him by the time my brother turned 18. Um, and I told her I really want to do that. She's like, get it, I'll help you out. And she had the, the cake decorating tips, and she showed me how to do it. She gave me a lot of confidence in baking. So. So what? So I noticed that people were asking, like, are we going live tomorrow so we can see the end results? So here's the thing that I was working out in my head. Um, by the time it comes down to packaging and doing stuff where we're, like, laying it all out and done, it's <laughs> much later than it is now. It's, like, midnight. It's, yeah, so then that's, like, not the right time. But I think we can remind ourselves to, like, make a little video. We can absolutely take a video and we post can, it. We can post it on our socials. Yeah, we can do, like, an end result of all the things that yeah. were made. But I don't believe that the timeline's up right no, yeah, and I'm going to be exhausted. Yeah. Like, by the time this is all said and done... Me too. I already want to sit down. So, by the time we reach the end of baking tomorrow, I will be done. Not much. That's not much. I know, it's almost dinner time. You're cold. There's like your blanket over here. It's so warm and toasty in here. How could he be cold? I don't cold understand the ground, it. The here is cold. I feel like there's a story behind the Blue's Clues cake. Oh, my brother just loved Blue's Clues. That's all. He was really into it, like, even into teenage years. And uh, so I made him a Blue's Clues cake. And we threw him a surprise party, and he was actually surprised. He had no idea. He was like, hey, it worked. It did. It was intended. It was successful. Man, I'm so glad I discovered this sea salt and still mad at everybody who didn't tell me about it. I put this ish on everything. Everything. Afriel, uh, reminded me to take a few minutes to sit after the stream so you can get a snack. I know I'm an, an annoying mama hen, but I worry for folks I like. I totally get it. You know, you get into it and you forget. I did make sure, um, I did sit and eat both breakfast and lunch, or like late lunch. I, I do feel like you take your time out. Um, I did sit on the couch for a little while and play some phone games. I had my, my daily things I had to do for my, my solitaire game. Um, but it's, I always feel on Saturday, like I'm doing really well. Like I'm making good time and I'm making it through the recipes really well. And then about Sunday, six o'clock ish, I'm like, where did the time go? Where did I go wrong? There's no way I'm going to have time to finish all these recipes. Does it feel like that this year? Uh, it's Saturday. So I still feel great. I feel like I've gotten through a lot of recipes. I've made a lot of things, but we'll see where I'm at tomorrow evening. Cause that could all change. It always does. I wish I would have strived to get more of these on here because there's still a crock pot full. Hannah says that's so wholesome. I don't know which part you're talking about. You can just oh, the Blue's Clues? Oh, eat it. <laughs> just give you a spoon? That'll work, friend. Uh, Brittany sent you a photo to show to me on Instagram, Dan. Okay. 
Marco said the weirdo solitaire game, the game with the creepers, that's the one. There's daily things you have to do to earn your coins and stuff. And to not get kicked out of the group, apparently. And the problem is, they're all playing right now, and I can't, because I'm here baking and live streaming, and they're going to be mad at me because I didn't dig when they dug. God, I hate them. <laughs> but the group does really well and gets lots of rewards, so I don't want to leave the group. Is <laughs> much chewing on you? Mooch just slapped Dan. Damn and I missed it. He does that sometimes. I hope I'm not putting too much sea salt on these. The problem is I can't taste test it. I saw nothing. Because it's just goo. On Instagram? Isn't a group on solitaire an oxymoron? Yes, and Dan makes fun of me for it constantly, I assure you. What? The, uh, the group in my solitaire group. Hi, Topo. The cats are now starting to form. Him and his little buddy, the girl cat, are now chilling in here together. They're paired up tonight, and they're like, hey, is it time to like get this dinner going? You are welcome to feed them. Um, I'm, I'm clearly going to be busy for a while. Watch out for that, please. I told you. All right. I should get another batch of these in the oven. Are we going to finish up this tomorrow, or is that it? No, no, no. No oh, live streaming yeah, tomorrow, friend. And, and you'll be, you will make a little video of it, but you'll be baking all evening. I will finish it up, but we are, we are just about done here. Um, the Snickers cookies are done. I have another batch to do, but this first batch is done, so we'll show you how these turn out. So as long as you're using a sill pat, even if uh, the Snickers goes out a little bit, it's not a big deal. You can just kind of like break that off and eat that. Hannah says there's such a thing as too much sea salt. Yeah, weren't you here, uh, was it last week or the week before, when Morgan was talking about the cookies that I brought for the family Thanksgiving, and I had put too much sea salt on them, and, and people did not like how salty they were? They did not go very quickly. The other ones, the, the salted brownie cookies, those were gone before we left. Everybody ate all those. They did not have too much salt on them. Oh, can you get Mooch, please? There's really nowhere for him to be there. I'm gonna have to do a second layer here. Topo tried to kill me. I believe it. <laughs> it's on like camera. A, he lays there like a parking <laughs> curve. Really does. I can't see the chat. All right. <laughs> These are the peanut butter Snickers cookies. Oh, are we, where are you at? This one kind of gooed out a little bit. They are definitely better once the Snickers sets, but oh my gosh, Dan, would you like some? Yes, please. Oh, so good. Perry, you want one? Yes, please. We're only allowed to eat the messy ones tonight. Okay. I'm okay with all the rolls. Mm. So good. And as they sit, the Snickers will set in there. And they still stay, stay pretty soft. They're amazing. Megan says, I need cookies ASAP. Go make cookies. So good. Yeah, 
Hannah says they are delicious, guys. They really are. Mm -hmm. They're so good. That's so nice. Mm. You know how you're trying to squeeze in over there and feed them? You can use this counter now. <laughs> you're fine. You're already set up. Do you need help? Okay. You go entertain the masses. I should probably wash the oily cookie off my hands. I have to keep this warm if we're not making them right now, though, so hold on. Alright, I gotta let Kamiko out the bedroom. I think she's in Blake's bedroom. Yeah? Yeah. We can halfway see what you're doing. No, Kamiko's here. Get it! <laughs> I love the kittens. They'll always go after the piece of food you drop. Even if they drop it themselves out of like while they're eating, they'll go after the food they drop. Watch uh watch Precious to roll up Topo in a small package. Yeah, two piece biscuit. Take them out to dinner. Oh, oh. Some, appeti up? some appetizers now? Those little cats are getting long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wish they go away. We need a cat fam emoji. All right. Who's tonight's dinner sponsor? This one came from the unclaimed cans because I got some fancy feast. Uh, so it wasn't. I didn't think about that. I'm sorry. <laughs> you failed the audience, Dan. I, I have failed. You have failed our friends. All right, here comes the streak of cat. All right, come here, babies. Sorry, Mooch, they're pushier than you are. Come here, Mo. Moochie, come here. Yours. Nico, I don't even know you're next. Come on. There you go. Okay, there you go. Eat it, princess. Where's Rizzo? Over here, really trash can. a lot of effort. And this is like three times a day. Yes. So the peanut butter cookies made so I can get those into the oven. The oven should not be empty at any point and it is empty right now. I'm wasting valuable cooking time. And I think Mooch is a sponsor of being cute. Don't let him hear you say that. He might smack. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like fun. He doesn't like it. No. How dare you compliment me? Huge cat feast, yes. Uh, weird, the video will slow down and speed up and there's rhythmic skipping in the audio. Um, I think everything's okay on our end. Try refreshing? 
That darn YouTube. Such a finicky beast. Hi, what's up? Hi. I might need more Snickers. I still have a lot of cookie dough left. Okay. okay. Good thing I got more Snickers than the exact 60 that the two packets were going to get us. If you, exact if you 60. hand me another bowl, I'd be more than happy. Cause... Um, let me get through these and see where I'm at. Yes, ma'am. I wouldn't want to unwrap them if we don't need them. Well, then we'd just be forced to feed them to Dan. <laughs> and then it's true. And then he's sugar crash on us, and we can't have that either. And Melissa says, their coloring is so pretty. They really are beautiful. She's lucky she had cute cats and that she's cute, so we couldn't help but keep them. Seven cats, missing three. Um, Precious is off to the side in front of the fridge. He already scarfed down all his food. Rizzo is around the corner, and Kitty does not come out of the bedroom. She is a bedroom cat. Don't worry, they never go missing when there's food around, Marco. <laughs> Mama big stretching. Hi, Captain, she needs more power. You would have kept them even if they were ugly, Crystal. I don't think I've ever seen an ugly cat. I love all the cats. Legit. All of them. Uh, Linda says, two new cop shows for Crystal. Alert and Will Trent, both starting in January. Uh, in America? See, here's the thing. We don't have, like, regular cable, so it's hard to hear about new things that are coming out. So I haven't heard of those. Whew, it is already 8.30. Mm -hmm. We can, uh, I know you need a break for in a minute, so. I do need a break we can, uh, we can wrap this up. I was just giving some cat love to everybody. Um, we'll be around again on Friday. Yes. Don't forget Friday. It'll be Dantic's Christmas episode. So much fun. Yes. That'll be a lot of fun. Afriel says one of those I think is on Hulu. Okay, I'll have to go check it out. I, I don't. I have so many shows that I watch that I don't have much time for other things, but then I get to the point where, like, I watched all my things today, and then I'm going to be baking all day tomorrow. Like, yeah, so maybe we'll try to... What do I watch tomorrow? So I should find something new to, to binge through the day tomorrow. Um, what are your go-to shows right this second? You have, a, like, three a week or so. Uh, Law and Order SVU. Always for you. CSI Vegas. Mm -hmm. And Criminal Minds Evolution. Those are my... Right. Every week I watch those. Criminal Minds. Why are they swearing? <laughs> it's so weird. Evolution. Go. They've evolved and learned the S word. Yes. But pretty much only the S word. Sometimes with bull in front of it, but pretty much only the S word. Mm -hmm. it's so weird to hear them cuss after like 13 years of watching it. Uh, Doris just finished her scarf. Did that while watching the stream. That was fun. Awesome. Dang, Very cool. Uh, Hannah's going to a hockey game on Thursday. I, uh, I like your hair, Doris, too. You have that like thick, good hair. Uh, Husky Mom Bronico says, my oven's empty too. I made double of that peanut butter dough. LOL. I need to fill more. I got sidetracked with the dogs. Um, pro tip, this makes a lot of peanut butter dough. We usually find whatever we can to fill it. And then like the last three, I'm just like, F it. We're just making peanut butter cookies. But we have a ton of stickers this time. So we'll be making a ton of these apparently because it makes a lot of cookie dough. If you doubled it, you have so much. Mama's finishing oh, that's, the kids' that's food. A, actually, that's Rizzo. Oh, yeah. That's Rizzy. They they look very similar. Rizzo has a lot more white on her. I confuse Rizzo with her too when I see the fluffy silhouette. I'm like, oh, which yes. one are you? Which one are you? Yeah, especially because her tail's not quite as fluffy as it used to be these days. Oh, there is the shark mooch. Hey, Dan, what would bears be without bees? Hungry? Ears. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I see what you did there. Yes, Wilton, it is very hard to tell from behind. They look so similar if you can't see their faces. Um, so yeah, again, Friday we'll be here for a super fun holiday episode of Dantix 2.0. We'll set a reminder in um, like the community page on YouTube and you stuff like that. You never sent me a link for tonight's episode. Usually we try to post to remind everybody, and we never posted anything today. And I thought uh, of it at like 5, and then I was just baking and forgot. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, everybody's here. Good enough. Uh, there's a rocket, rocket launch tomorrow at 3 p.m., Dan. Oh, okay. I'll, uh, I'll make sure I set my minders. It's been a minute since I've seen one. So after the holiday episode, there are no more shows. Only two more shows left this year. There are no more shows until our New Year's Eve episode, which will start at 6 p.m. Pacific, just like everything else does. Mm -hmm. But it will go for a full six hours until midnight. We will be ringing in the new year with all of you guys. So uh, make sure to... You know, come hang out with us or check in with us if you guys are out doing stuff. Hannah says Jersey straight up took herself to bed. That is awesome. <laughs> That's a handy task for her to know. 
Are you still handing out food? I'll keep talking until you're you're ready to wrap things up, Dan. Uh, okay. Once again, you guys, we do have a holiday card exchange. The address is in our description of the video. If you guys want to send us a holiday card, we will send you one back with my pumpkin roll recipe. Um, stuff and things and cookies. So many cookies. I'll, I'll make sure to take some pictures or have Dan take some video of all the things that I made so you guys can see the ridiculousness of how much stuff I bake for the holidays. Uh, Laura Rose says, thank y'all. No, no, thank you for being here. Thanks to everybody for being here. There are 87 of you here right now. Yeah. If you guys haven't Happy already, night. please hit the thumbs up on your way out as we uh, we wrap this up. I'm going to get these into the oven, and then I think I'm going to take 10 and mm -hmm. go sit. Oh, I have to do the, yeah, the crock pot candy before that like hardens and becomes uh -huh. null and void. Well, um, have a good night, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, this was a lot of fun. Oh, it was a lot of fun. It was very productive. I made a lot of things. Yep, and we got to hang out with you, which is really good as well. You who? Mm-hmm. You too. Them? Me? Yeah. Uh -huh. What? Yeah. The cat? Who's on first? <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everybody. What are you even talking about anymore, Dan? <laughs> Bye, guys. Have a great weekend and uh, a great week. And we will see you Christmas Eve Eve on the 23rd, Friday night, for Dantix 2.0. Have a good night and a good week, guys. Bye.